Howdy, howdy, folks, and happy Wild Card Wednesday. A train here with you for a new episode of a favorite game of mine, and I just haven't played this in, it's probably been a year. And that would be Project Hospital, now available on Steam from Oxymoron Games. This, this is nothing new. This thing's been out for like five, six years now, but they've got Beta 41 going on. So we've, we've uh, signed up for Beta 41, and we're going to check this out. If you haven't seen this, it's a hospital build. It's actually a three-in-one. It's a hospital builder. So you have to design and build the hospital from the ground up. And, and really, it kind of starts with just like an emergency clinic. And then you expand out from there. And as you get bigger, you unlock more aspects of an ER. And then you get labs. And you get uh, uh, radiology. And you get different departments and all this stuff. So super cool in that regard. Secondly, it's a, 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 it's a management game where you have to manage the hospital. You gotta try to make money, you gotta hire and fire staff, uh, train them, uh, deal with insurance companies, yada, 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 a whole bunch of stuff in that regard. And third, you get to play doctor, which is really kind of cool. Um, there's over a hundred and something diagnoses built into the game, or maybe even more now, I don't know for sure. But it's a little bit weird how this uh, sets up. So I'm going to launch into the game now because I love the, why did you stop the jazz music? I love the theme music to this thing. And for some reason, it doesn't just play through my computer like everything else does. It's really kind of weird. So we are going to fire it up here in the background. Uh, let me actually go ahead and just hit this, hit this, hit that. And then I'll kick over to it here in just a second. And there we go. I think it plays in a Windows situation is what the deal is. So here we go. All right, it's coming up here, coming up, coming up, coming up. Obviously, they have it in lots of different languages here. Come on, come on with your bad self. Let's go. There we go. Let's enjoy this for a minute. You'll see what this is all about. Sounds like the, the audio is coming through the video, so that's good. It's not terribly loud, which I may want to punch up. So, oh, oh, we may have just made it go silence there for a little bit. All right, let's go back to it. Quick, 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 quick. Anyway. It's got some really cool music to it. I love it. And it doesn't play this theme music during the game. So that kind of sucks. <laughs> but I love it. It's fantastic. Really cool. All right. Let's look. Now, if you have been around for a while or look back through my videos, you'll know I did a uh, project called the BCMC, the Beverly Crusher Medical Center. Um, and we may look at that design again. I, I really worked hard on that logo, too. And I, of course, I, I Beverly, cru I, I have a crush on Beverly Crusher. <laughs> so um, let's kick into a new game here. Now we got we got some options here. We can do tutorials or we can do campaigns, right? Uh, there's challenges, general surgery, internal medicine, orthopedy, cardiology. Neurology. Those are all cool and neat and neat, cool sort of way. Uh, there's D there's DLCs. Learn the basics of taking over doctor. Doctor mode retirement at last. Find the best staff and train to transfer your expertise to. Hospital services. Holy crap, that's a big hospital. Infectious disease in a big hospital. Traumatology in a big hospital. Hmm, that's a big hospital. What's neat about this is it's, it's kind of a modern deal, right? Now, this I find interesting. Um, <clears throat> we're not going to do that, but this, this doctor mode tutorial, 
that's a really small clinic. I mean, and if you do sandbox, you can choose different size maps and fields and stuff. So you can you can choose a small field, you can choose a big field. There's a clinic that you can take over, or a small hospital, or you know, medium, big. You see what I'm saying? There's all kinds of stuff. Uh, and it says free building, unlock all departments, and patients can die. Um, let's unlock all departments. Uh, I don't want to do free building though. I kind of want to work within the constraints of a budget. So we'll we'll keep that off for now. We'll just unlock all the departments because I want to build them as I want to build them, and we'll go from there. All right, cool. Start. Carefully placed decorations and clean environment ensure more satisfied employees and patients. Yeah, this is really cool as the happiness level and your ratings and stuff will go up and down based on how you dress out the hospital. I mean, you see here there are plants, there's chairs, um, there's posters on the wall. That all adds to the environment. Uh, but it, having worked in a hospital for over a year and spent quite a bit of time in them over the course of the past year um, you know I kind of it's just something I really enjoy so I think I bring a little inside knowledge to the uh, table for this one and uh, so it's a lot of fun all right so here's the, 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 the key thing you need to know is your emergency uh, your ER has to be right here by this little parking thing that's where the ambulance comes in screen spawns in here and it'll stop there and then they'll run people in. So you kind of have to build your emergency department right there, which is something I wish they'd fix and change, but whatever. Okay. So now I got kind of got to refamiliarize myself. So we move around here a little bit with the WASD keys, uh, rotate the screen with the uh, left and right brackets. We go page up, page down. That allows us to change floors. Home and end uh, allow you to make the walls appear and disappear. All right, so there's a few things there. Now, if we want to build something, we have to build foundations and then we build new floors. We construct floors and walls, doors and windows, stuffs. Prefabs are something I've done. So I've got things that I've built previously that hopefully are still here <laughs> because I worked hard on those. But you have to, uh, there's templates of different departments and rooms. So um yeah like i did cleaning closets and bathroom closets and labs and doctor's offices and stuff so stuff like see that that's how all you do is you build the space and then you plunk this down in the space but you gotta have a foundation to plunk it down onto but what this does is it makes it quicker for you to play the game because then you already have this already done if you do just basically hey look all the doctor's offices you know the exam rooms are going to look like this there's gonna be a door, there's a couple of chairs, there's some posters, there's there's a, a sterile, I mean, there's a trash ba uh, basket, and then there's a, you know, a sharps basket. The red thing is a, a sharps for like needles and stuff and environmental uh, hazardous waste. There's a computer and a desk for the doctor. You've gotta have certain things in the room. Those are requirements. But like all the posters and stuff and the diploma on the wall, what that's just, that's just decoration stuff. So you can make this your own design, and then uh, let's see, we can rotate that around. Oh, we're rotating the map around it. <laughs> uh, let's see if it, oh, shoot, I thought, ah, there it is. R and at, is it R? Just R rotates the, so you can see there's like a whiteboard with notes and stuff on it. All right, and there's an exam table and a light. That and the computer and the desk and the, the printer or the, the uh, paper deal. Yeah, there we go. All right, so that's how, so you can do prefabs and you can save those in your computer for later, you know, referring back to and whatever. So it's a super cool thing. You know, I just hit escape and bump out of that. Now I need to rotate back to where I was. It's good to just work with this uh, thing. So the people across the streets and whatever. And so we're going to have an emergency room here. And we're going to have an emergency clinic. I, I man. I, I had a really good designs on this. There are some things you've got to keep in in kind of the back of your head in regards to the way this works, okay? And that is 
um, an emer like it, you start with a clinic, eh, emergency clinic. Eh, I wouldn't say it's an emergency clinic. Um, people come in with a cold or a sniffle or a broken arm or, you know, the clap or something like that. Okay, they just go they just go see the doc. So it's like a doc in a box. Now, if you add services beyond that, then you start expanding out, and your services that you add beyond that typically look at uh, laboratory uh, uh, aspects and services, and then uh, radiology, basic radiology. If you can do x-rays, and then you may expand that to ultrasound, um, and then you start looking into nuclear medicine where you're doing, uh, you know, freaking uh, MRIs and things like that, okay? You start getting into to big, big money stuff. Of course, it pays bigger too. Then you got all your specializations. So you have emergency department rooms, uh, non-specific rooms. Uh, you have uh, administrative stuff. And I do have uh, some, uh, what, what are they? Uh, they're mods I've downloaded. That gives me more departments. Um, I think... I still have those. Maybe I, d well, no, this is one. Or, o oh my God, otorhinolaryngology. Otorhinolaryngology is the ear, nose, and throat department. Okay? So if you can say that fast three times in a row, otorhinolaryngology. Okay? So rhino is your nose. Okay? Laryn laryngology is obviously your throat. Odo is then ophthalmology, which is your eye. Okay? So, oh, no, it's, it, I'm sorry. Odo in this case is your ear. So, ear, nose, throat. Uh, and then you've got uh, neurology, you got cardiology, uh, orthopedy, which is, uh, you know, if you break a bone or something, uh, internal medicine, surgery, uh, ICU. Now, here's, here's something to keep in mind. Relative to if you establish once you establish an ER department, which is your emergency room, that's your trauma rooms. So someone gets a gunshot wound, uh, their knife, you know, wife stabs them, uh, something really bad that they're going to die if they don't get medical attention on the quick quit. Okay. That, um, you know, you're going to put that in this area, but you're going to need an ICU close to that. All right. And the reason I say that is there are five kinds of beds relative to the game in the hospital. There's your trauma beds, which go into ER. ICU, and these are most critical to least critical. ICU is your, you know, intensive care unit. So those are people who are close and need close monitoring, you know, because they may die if, you know, you don't keep on top of whatever's going on with them. Um, and then you've got... Uh, HDU, which is high dependency unit, that's a little, that's below ICU. Then you've got, there's a, another level of care. And then there, uh, then there's basically your general ward room. Okay. Which is where you just, you know, if you're just chilling in the hospital, you're not on death's door or anything or recovering from a major surgery. And maybe you're just uh, spending a couple of days for, I'd say observation, but usually observation, there's a more critical reason. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, maybe you're waiting for sur uh, a, a surgery or a surgery that's not critical. Is it, am I making sense there? So there's five tiers of beds. That's the least uh, critical to the trauma ER rooms, which are the most critical. And that goes across the way there. All right. So how we get started here is say, you know, here's a parking lot. This is where you park your ambulances. And maybe you'll have the ER right here. Um, we're going to try something a little different because previously I've put a whole bunch of, and it, it'll still be in this area. So let's look at foundation, build foundations. Okay. And then there's, there's a cost to this. All right. So you have to be uh, cognizant of that. Um, let's also real quick look at some things that we need to know. So like sliding double doors. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. This is like usually your exterior door. All right. And that's gotta, it's gotta be placed on the wall. It's prefab, but it takes two tiles. 
So you got to be a little bit, you know, kind of on top of how many tiles you're doing. Like this thing here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight across. So if we just do like four tiles, it would allow just basically to save costs. Because you can always go back and tear stuff down and, and rebuild it, right? Mm. Let me see here. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. I think we're just going to start on this side. And we're going to start by making a little bit of a hallway. It's, the, it's already expensive, right? So I want to I want to make a hallway here. And we want we're going to want to create a secondary hallway with some doctor's offices. Here's the thing. Let me back up a second. Okay, let me back up. Go back to my prefabs because I want to remember the size of the uh, so there's a five by six doctor's office. And I think that does include the walls. So five by six, so we need two tiles over and probably four tiles. So if we start here and go over four tiles, that gets us kind of past the plants and the trees. And then we need one, two, three, four, five or so. And then, all right, so there's that. So the next thing we need here is we'll have to, and, and this part here has to be laid down. This is just the surrounding area. I'm not sure if that, there, that's the foundation around. You build the walls here, right? So if I go into building walls, okay, see how it lines up on the edge? It doesn't line up here. It lines up here and within it within the space of your foundation all right so you have to have that squared away um doom, 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 doom. let me think here so one two three four five six and then that puts us one two three four which is actually great all right so this is good so we'll actually do one two three four all right and if we do i don't want to do a super tight Okay, then we come into the space here, and this is going to be a hallway. And it's four wide. Um, and then let's see. So if we do a waiting area and a check-in desk, four by seven, four by eight, and one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We might be able to go. So what did I say? Eight. If I did eight wide for this. Um, then we go to 28. Yeah. That would allow four offices down this hallway okay so we're just going to build that for now now we are going to go over so there's one two three four back it out four and then we'll go seven eight eight that's gonna be our waiting room there's six by five that'll be our first doctor's office oh I, shoot I didn't think about this. Let me go back to the prefabs and look at the doctor's office. Hello? 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 Why is it being goofy on me here? Nope. I don't need that. I need my prefabs. All right. So let's do this. And then do doctor's office. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. All right, so the door, okay, good, good, good. No, this, this is good. All right, so what that's telling me there is it's six deep. And that's what I want. So it's five wide, six deep. So we could do one, two, three, four of these down this uh, corridor. So ultimately, we could do eight down the corridor. All right, cool. That works out. That's exactly what we want. So 
Uh, we'll go back to building foundation and then we're gonna just do this and go six by five and six by 10. So that'll be two, ah, poop. I don't think I can undo that crap. Let me bulldoze. I think this is how you bulldoze. No, that bulldozes everything. Oh, no, no, no. Right, right, right. Okay. Nope. Mm -mm. There it goes. Okay, that just, that destroys it. The bulldozer takes out everything down to the foundation. Okay, so you can remove walls. You can add perimeter walls around the foundations area. Okay, so if we want to add perimeter walls, boom, that takes care of it. Okay, um, so now we've got walls around everything, all right? Now we have to add some interior walls to this too. These are just straight white walls. So see, you can there's kind of a ghost image here, so you can see where you're working, all right? So we're just gonna run this across like that, and then that makes a wall, right? Now we can make the wall visible with, uh, is it delete? There it is, boom. All right, so delete makes the wall visible and then end gets it out of the way if they're in the foreground so we can see what we're doing. So we're gonna go to here and set up uh, the exterior, right? So say we wanna have a you know, brick wall with a base, all right? All we do then is drag this across here and then we can actually go across here like this too, I think. Nope, we gotta do individual walls at a time, all right? So we go down here. We're just gonna do that because these are interior walls here, all right? And then I'm, I'm not gonna mess with the other walls just yet, okay? And if you wanna make your interior walls pretty, like you pick, uh, you know, two color stripes or things like that, okay? So you pick a stripe, and, and then in this case, you probably wanna make the walls invisible so you can see what you're doing inside. And then you do this, right? You just draw them along the length of it, okay? But also at the same time, uh, you may want to take this and you may say, okay, I just want a general color to, you know, build the walls with. So we'll just pick, you know, this nice tan color, nice neutral color, all right? We'll just draw it along there. Boom, makes it pretty, okay? Now, we can rotate this way and we'll just draw along the way here and make this pretty, okay? So then if we turn the walls on, you see it looks nice. We're gonna keep this wall blank over here. I don't wanna spend, well, I can spend money on this part. The first four tiles are going to be brick. Now, we can put a fancy sliding. So there's metal sliding doors. There's all these doors you can work with. Some of them are kind of interior doors and some are exterior. Sliding double door is what I would expect. Oh, it, What is the, oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Oh, I see, I had it in the wrong spot. There we go. And there we go. Now we got our sliding double door in there. So that takes up four tiles wide. That's why your corridors really kind of, at least at the start, need to be four tiles wide. If you think about it, in a hospital design, you need large corridors because you gotta be able to move beds up and down through them. You may have lots of people. You're gonna wanna put stuff, you know, like benches and stuff on the sides and what have you, okay? So then say we come over here to our little emergency room department, well, our emergency clinic. All right, and then this, these four tiles here are where we're gonna put a door. Um, it's pretty straightforward though. So we could do something like oval windows, you could do metal sliding doors, you just do a double glass door. That's kind of welcoming, right? So, um, so we'll put that there. So that will be the entry into our, our clinic, all right? Now, if we turn over this way, I'm not sure if I have a prefabbed reception room. So we'll have to build one. And again, there are, um, there are restrooms and things like that. All right, these are good things to kind of have your own prefab if you have a design that you like to use and that you've kind of worked out and played around with for a little bit. And it makes it super cool. So what we'll do is go to our prefab, go to our doctor's office, I 
think we will. I don't know why it's doing that. Now there are built-in templates, like here's a waiting room template. You can click on this and see that's kind of your basic waiting room. And then you can rotate it with the R key, okay? And there are some things in there that you're gonna to wanna to have, like you're gonna want seats and you know, water fountain, a garbage can, some plants. Uh, there's other little pieces and stuff, like here's another waiting room design, okay? These are kind of simple. There's corridor designs, you know, and that has like a, a, there's a drink machine, a snack machine. This is more something that you would put out here, right? Does that make sense? So you can lay that out there. Now, uh, here's a reception design. This is huge. We don't need it that big. But see, there's desks there for the reception nurses. And there's core, uh, there's uh, columns for upper level support and things like that. Uh, and then there's different rooms set up like here for doctor's offices six by six i did five by six i made mine more efficient in size um and what have you okay so i i kind of condense things together a little bit yeah see it's got the computer and the printer and there's some different things there's a defibrillator on the wall there's a crash cart there's sinks and all kinds of foo-foo stuff okay and then there's like a, a restroom template and things like that so you're gonna want You'll do a restroom like out off the main corridor, right? That makes sense? I think that makes sense. So uh, doctor's on-call room, cleaning closets. And you can squeeze these in real small spaces. You just have to understand how things work because you, your people have to have access to them. So then there's built-in different uh, restrooms and uh, cardiography and sonography and um, MRIs, CTs, x-rays, stuff like that. All right, see how this, it so it creates a lot of things for you, but then you have the option to do whatever you want to do and build the hospital to however your heart desires, which is super cool. So, um, let me think. So we're going to set up shop with, there's doors and windows and there's furniture, equipment, and decorations. Now, doors and windows... Are just straight that's just straightforward doors and windows okay now here you can build pillars and you have a square square round pillar and a square pillar okay i kind of like the idea of a wide pillar boom like that and in reality we could put it out in the hallway but that would create a pinch point uh which would serve a purpose and that would be if you were creating a fire block okay because those are things that legit occur in a hospital okay um, what they tend to do in a hospital design is not evacuate everyone should the fire alarm go off. In a lot of cases, what they'll do is shelter everyone in place except the affected area. And there will be double doors that close automatically to prevent smoke and ostensibly the fire from spreading from one area to the next. Because you could have like an electrical out a closet issue you know, or something, you know, something like that. So in this case, you know, you might have a couple of columns in a hallway like this, and then you have a, you create a wall with a double door. And that would be a very realistic design. Okay. So here we've got kind of like this whole wing here. Um, but for sake of keeping things open a little bit, like we'll drop a column right here. And I'll figure a space out to put one down here in one of the doctor's offices. So we want this to be our reception area. And so, uh, and then you build in elevators and then there's uh, all kinds of flooring options that you can put in. So if you wanna make nice, pretty, you know, floors and you can, you can get as creative as you want. You could do like a checkerboard, dark and light wood or facing left, you know, perpendicular wood tiles. You got all the colors and you can change from, their color palette's a little limited, which is disappointing. Hopefully they'll improve that down the road. Um, and then you can select floors uh, for co by copying and you can bulldoze walls and objects and, and, and remove objects, keeping walls intact. And then you can undo the last changes, which is cool, right? So there's lots of neat options uh, to the game here. All right, so what we wanna do is uh, we wanna set up our little, our, our deal here. Now, one more thing you need to know is you need to know 
Uh, there's doctor mode. What am I looking at? What am I looking at? I need. That's prefabs. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then you're in game mode. Okay, this is when you're actually playing. So you go game mode, building mode, management mode. Ah, this was what I needed, actually. <laughs> so we're not doing radiology. Um, we're doing clinic. But it's not a radiology clinic. It is... So it see, that's where it, it took that. So we're doing, uh, that's emergency department, and this falls under the emergency department. All right. So now we're going to go into management mode. And it says emergency clinic. All right. And then here you get uh, department's patient table. You get the staff table. You get the uh, dress code. So you can change uniform colors for all your different personnel. Like janitors, I, I don't know, might make their, uh, their, their colors all black or gray or something like that. Okay. Um, whereas the doctors, there's clinic doctors, there's on-call doctors, nurses, and technologists. Technologists tend to tend to go uh, kind of a greenish color. Uh, surgery scrubs, I like the blue. Nurses, uh, well, I like the blue for them. Surgery scrubs, we'll go with a very light blue. That way the blood shows up good against it. <laughs> Um, and then your, your on-call doctors, you know, this is a good color, clinic doctors, whatever, you know. Um, and, and what you look at is you can change this by department, all right? So that's a fun little aspect of the game. Uh, and then there's takeover of patients from the department, managed surgeries and active department, closed department, all patients uh, will leave your hospital and staff goes home, all right? So... What you've got to do is lay out the floor plan for the department. Like in this case, we need the waiting room. We need reception, okay? So reception and the waiting room are two different things. Uh, we need a shared room, which is a corridor. Now, we're going to take this and make... Um, we can kind of, I think, make this a corridor. And then I think we can put the waiting room on the sides here let me actually back up so let's just say that's the corridor okay all right so now doctor's office is going to be like this space right here five by six okay that's gonna be a doctor's office and five by six that's gonna be a doctor's office hi autumn howdy how are you i've been all right thank you very much all right now your people need a common room and that's where they take a break. Oh, let me explain this real quick. So red space is staff only. Blue space is where patients, staff can go and patients can go if invited or with escort. Okay. So you don't just go walking into the doctor's office, right? You got, you know, you got to be called and, and sent into the doctor's office. Uh, that may be, that's like an exam room. Um, you know, a, a x-ray room or whatever. You get called in for that. Uh, green is places that anybody can go. All right. So that's, now you can kind of understand what that is. And then down here will show us our, um, uh, you know, if we're analyzing patients, where they stand. Okay. And then free air. So here's free area accessible to both staff and patients. Staff only, patients must have permission invitation, restricted patients, and this is a biohazard area, okay? And then this is removed rooms. So you click on that and boom, take that space out if you want. And then it shows the staff and then you have the day and night schedule, all right? And you can have, you can set your clinic hours. So if you do 8 a.m. to, you know, 5 p.m., right? You know, or 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., whatever, for your clinic, and then boom, everybody leaves, unasses the joint and goes home for a night. But as you develop your hospital, eventually you're going to want to get to 24 hour staffing. Um, and then you can set up training rooms and things like that so that um, your staff members improve their skills and become better at their jobs. All right. So we got our doctor's offices laid out. So now we need to set up our reception area and our waiting room. 
Now, reception is a set amount of space. So I'm going to try to squishy this in here. And see how it says missing equipment, missing staff? It says that for each of the rooms. Okay? And then it even tells you the workload day and workload night. I think the day-night cycle is 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. It's been a minute since I played this. All right, so now um, we're going to do waiting room. think and you can you can add to this to make it um, bigger I'm thinking if we want to create a bathroom we're gonna do a bathroom here somewhere but we'll do that in a minute okay so we're gonna say that's the waiting room all right now you can divide all this up with walls all right cool stuff like that you have tons of options you build this to however the heck you want to build it I'm probably gonna make the corridor we're just going to redraw the corridor for the entire space. There we go. Cool. And if you want to take that out, uh, then you just unzone, you just dezone it like this, I think. Yep, there you go. So that's how you undo it. Okay. So remove rooms. All right. So we're going to do a corridor. Okay. And actually. What we may do is put a restroom down here at the end, depending on how this, this doctor's office at the end shakes out. All right. I really want to put it up here at the front. And then, because we got to put in a cleaning closet, and then we got to put in a, a staff space too. And typically, I build a staff restroom in there as well. All right. So let's look at reception. So if we do this, okay, we click on the space. Now, see here, it says these are required items. You got to have at least one of these. And then you got to have this stuff, okay? Um, I'm not sure if we need this and this. It may just be this. So we may we may wind up changing this up. All right. So first thing you're gonna do is walk into doors, right? Now you have say like there's a desk, okay? And then you hit the R key and you rotate it, okay? So that looks cool like that. And then you have a reception desk like that. And then you can add to it like that. Or you could put a you know corner piece like that. And then you could continue it back here. So we're going to just build that to keep it simple here. Okay. Now, we got to put a PC on here. So there's different PCs and they cost different amounts. Okay. And it just looks different. So you can now see it, it even tells you where you got to build them. Okay. All right, so there, if it works, if it doesn't work, it's red. Cool. Um, and if it works, it'll show it, okay? So if you're happy and you know it, clamp your hand, right? So we could just put in a laptop, you know, or whatever. But in this case, you know, you got this older style PC. And there's, there's a little bit of... Um, you can create a little bit of a time frame for your hospital uh, because like there's three different bed styles, like old school metal rails, you know, tubular stuff. Then there's a more high tech plastic side beds and whatever, which you see in a lot of hospitals. And then there's the fancy like glass side beds, but they get more expensive too. So let's drop in a computer. Okay. Then we need an office chair. We're going to, we're going to give our, uh, our lady uh, or our receptionist type a uh, fancy chair. Now, we're going to give them a blue chair. Okay, so you got some color choices down here. Boom, we put that there. That means they can access the computer. All right, so now what else do we need? Well, there's got to be some, some waiting chairs in here. But I think, okay, that's the info. Yeah, okay. This, this gets a little goofy, I think. Um... Let me think of how I want to do this. I know how I want to do this. Let me go back here. And again, this is reception. Okay. I'm going to click inside reception and drag it just like that. Now, notice it just added to the reception space and took away from the waiting room space. Well, why would you do that? Here's, a, here's why. So I can go 
I can escape out of that, and then it's actually showing me I need daytime and nighttime nurses. We're going to go back and click on this because we're going to put a fancy chair in. No, we're just going to put a regular chair. And we're going to rotate that chair, and we're going to actually pick a blue color. And we're going to say this is where this person could sit down for the nurse to talk to them, the receptionist. Okay? Now, for giggles, and you can scroll through these. See, there's one, two, and I just use a mouse wheel and can scroll back and forth. Then you can add in all kinds of willy foo foo stuff, all right? If I want a printer that's $199, there's a $399 printer, or a paper holder, which counts as a printer, but it's a more efficient alternative. We're going to go with the, the simple printer, boom, drop it just like that. Drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot, okay? Now, um, we could do like a water dispenser, things like that, okay? You don't have to have these things. Once you get to the point where it no longer says missing equipment, you have everything you need, okay? Uh, this is now, we've gotten into technicalities here. So for this back here, all right, for our reception area, we're gonna go, we're gonna double click again because this is gonna tell you the stuff you need back there. Um, I think I'm just going to put like a cabinet with doors. Nope. And let's just uh, hit R. And we'll put this over here in the corner. Right. And then um, I don't want to put anything really crazy in here. Maybe a cabinet with drawers. Okay, and then you can put a cabinet on the wall. Uh, let's see. Wall mounted corner cabinet, wall mounted cabinet. So we can put that up there, see? And then we could do something, and you can change, you can change this just general stuff, like a clock, okay? But the clock's gotta go on the wall. See, it won't, you can't do it floating out here. You gotta get it against the wall, right? Okay. And then let's say we got an escape route plan. Boom. Now, let's go back to the walls of the department here. We're in just the um, ER clinic, right? And so I kind of have a vision that the ER clinic's just kind of, you know, simple, straightforward. Now this here, fancy wood with stripe. I like because I feel like that stripe simulates the um, no bash wall. <laughs> You know, there's a rail typically down the wall and it's the same height as most of the carts and the gurneys and stuff. So people don't just crash everything into the wall. Just boink, it hits that and, you know, it, it laughs at you and says, ha ha, what was that? All right. So if we turn the um, walls back on like that, okay, and then maybe we uh, rotate this way so we can see. We can take this and we can drag this across to here and we make it kind of look pretty. Okay. And so we'll kind of just do that all along the way here. I may even put windows into these walls, okay? But now it adds a little color to the department, all right? So, um, all right, so there's the basics of your information area, okay? So if you want to add other foo, foo stuff or put like a window in, like you can put big glass windows in like this, you know, stuff like that. Uh, then there's tall windows which have kind of uh, vertical shades put into them to help block light and you know whatever okay but it lets some natural light in stuff like that okay that's cool you can slap that in there all right so now if we hit escape and then we click on this area this is our waiting room all right so we want to give people space where they could step in here right and, oh, one thing we're going to definitely want to do, and that's put a wall in between this and the doctor's office. So let's put that right there, all right? And that's going to give us a place to mount things. Uh, we may also want a little bit of control in this space back here. Um, so I may just put a little bit of a wall like that, all right? And I could probably put a door in there. And it is a 
restricted access, but people actually can go in the reception area. This is why you gotta be a little bit careful with where you put your seating because people will come in and sit here. I don't care if somebody sits in, sits here. I do care if somebody's nosing around, dinking around back in this space, okay? Uh, let's do that. And then we can kind of see what's going on here. And we're gonna say, go back to those walls and we're gonna make those walls pretty. So we're gonna do the top and the bottom. No, we're gonna do the stripes. And you've got to do this for both sides of the wall. Okay. So notice this side's still plain. So you customize both sides of the wall. All right. And then out here in the hallway, we'll go ahead and do this uh, style wall down the hall here. Boink. That looks cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we'll flip around this way. And we'll do the same thing down here. Zip, boom. Now, I got to see where these doctor's offices are going to land uh, because the doors go in here somewhere. Excuse me. So let's go ahead and drop those in. We're going to go to my prefabs. Five by six doctor's office. Okay, here it is. All right, that's it. There, there it's set. Okay, this is exactly how I want that to look. All right, so I can just drop, uh, drop this one here and drop this one here. Now. It's a little bit of a trick because, see, there's no wall in between the two. That stuff's kind of technically floating in space. So we're going to put this wall. Oh, no, actually, it dropped the wall in there. That's good. I thought, I'd, did I draw the wall in there? Oh, no, it put the walls in. So it just doesn't show the walls, but the walls are there. And actually, it matched the color up to what we've got selected. So we don't have to go back and repaint stuff, which is cool. Um... We could change out the windows, but eh, whatever. I'm not too fussed about that. Actually, I do want to change the walls out because it doesn't match this. Okay. okay. So there's that. And then we'll just uh, rotate, rotate. And do this wall. And do this wall. Okay. And then we'll do this wall. Okay. Boom. And then if we turn the walls back on with the, uh, that's got it done. All right. All right. So now we just need to make this wall look the same. Boom. Okay. So now, and those are the exterior walls. All right. So now we have set up our waiting area. Okay. So again, we're going to click on this. And it's going to show us what we've got to have. So we need a cue machine, and we're just going to put that right here. Um, R, we're going to set that right there. And let's see. If you're sitting in here, there's the cue machine, which means we need a info TV. And the info TV, we've got to rotate around. And it'll go here above the cue machine. Okay, so pretty straightforward. But also, I feel like we need to, you know, if people are sitting on the other side, then they need to be able to see it as well. So actually, we'll put one there, and I want to move this uh, this TV. Let's see if I remember how to... There, I just click on it, okay? So this will move that TV over here. simple okay now let's click back on it again so we need some benches there's modern benches which are metal so they're gonna hurt your butt but we don't want you to be terribly you know comfortable those are visitor seats there's regular chairs there's fancy chairs there's wooden chairs if you want to go old school all right and uh, then there's just benches okay so what we'll do is we'll put a couple benches here and a couple benches here and we can rotate, rotate. Uh, I don't think I've got enough. Yeah, I don't. Um, let's do this here. I don't want people sitting on top of each other. Oh, we can't put that there. Hang on. Uh, let me take that and just rotate it and put it here. And then what we'll do 
is put a water dispenser in between. Cool? Cool. And then you can put a, there's info TVs, but you can put actually regular TVs in here. And it will show you stuff. So now we've got the, the equipment we need for the room, technically. All right. Um, there's fancy water coolers, blah, 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 coffee vending machines. We're just going to lay people with the water cooler. All right. That's all they, that's all they really need access to at the moment. And then uh, maybe a couple more benches. That's too close. That's really kind of halfway into the nurse's area. So we'll do one there and one there. Yeah. Now, there is more stuff. There's decorations, like we could put a calendar, you know, whatever, or a clock. And the clock we can put, like, on the wall right here. Maybe we'll put it next to, there's the, see, we can't put it there, so it's showing up red. So we'll put it there instead. Uh, escape plan, that's always a good thing to put somewhere on the wall. And so let me flip our view back around. And then we'll rotate this around. So there's the check-in, and then there's the escape plan. Make sense? Cool. Then we're going to put a fire alarm, like right here, and then maybe we put a fire extinguisher next to it. Okay. And then there's, like, floor lights and info boards and magazines. Let's say we put some magazines right here. Cool. You know. Uh, maybe an oil painting of uh, Florence Nightingale goes on the wall over here. You see how this, how this, you know, it gets fun. You just totally decorate it however the heck you want. Um, there's brochures. You can put like little tables and uh, and all that stuff. Uh, and then let's see, what's the one thing I want? What I want to do is furniture and accessories. I think is this where. No, no, here we go, it's in here. So there's all kinds of different little information, posters and crap like that you can put up. Uh, so, oh, there's a, a LAN router too, which is super cool. So we're gonna put that on the wall out here, all right? Then you may need a trash bin for the garbage can, which I didn't think through. So let's do this, let's grab this, rotate it, and eh, we can't do that. Well, we could, way to do this I didn't think it through oh you know what we'll put the trash bin beneath uh, hey what's going on Alex how are you say hi to autumn autumn say hi to Alex what's uh what's happening Alex how's life bud Ugh. I need a place to put this but I don't I haven't created space There's usually a couple more things I like to put on the wall. Um, did I give myself, that's one tile, two tiles. So in theory, we could push this wall back. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I know. Here we go. Here we go. Let me do this. Let me move this. Now that's going to move the poster first. So I'm going to scoot the poster here. Now it allows me to move the, the check-in deal. All right. Oh, there's space. Well, no, let's just put this here. That makes sense. So we'll rotate it this way. And then we're going to put the evacuation poster back over here. And then we're going to put the trash bin beneath the evacuation poster. Boom. Cool. All right, so we got water, there's trash, there's seats, uh, there's boards. Here, here's a, a wall TV. You can put that in, on the wall over here like that. And it'll actually show stuff on the TV. So it's, it's really cool. Um, and that that's pretty much it. Now, it says, so we've got our, our deal laid out here. All right. And we could throw in, 
a restroom because that's always good. So let me see if I've got my prefab restroom. Life's good. Where you, where uh, you still out at Chalma on the trains, or what? What are you doing now, bud? Restroom, restroom, restroom. Two by five single restroom. Uh, cleaning closet. So we need a restroom. We need a cleaning closet. Single ward. No, 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 no. Ba oh, bathroom closet. Here we go. All right. So this here. All right, and that's six deep. That's good. All right, so this is going to cover us well. So what we're going to do is rotate this into a position that we can put it in right here, I think. Or we might put it... I'm not sure exactly how the ER is going to lay out yet. So... Um, Hmm. Now, what this does, this design I've got here, this prefab design, the bathrooms are, I don't know if they're separate, if they're unisex. I think they are. I think you can designate male and female restrooms, but I don't remember because it's been a minute. Uh, see, here's a big cleaning closet, big fancy. I mean, it's got two sinks in it, and then you got to so you've got to have lockers. Um, you've got to have those storage racks, and then you got to have mop bucket setups in your cleaning closet so there's there's minimal stuff you've got to have in there but if we go back here and we go back to the bathroom and cleaning closet i think if i do that see it laid in the foundation for me and now it's all set so now now this is emergency department no we're gonna go uh here okay and uh, see how that already has restroom indicated and then there's red for the closet okay so that means we can have a janitor assigned and it's got one work position during the day and one work position at the night and then when you mouse over it assign employee there's no employee to sign so then you hire staff okay and you can see that either they're you know hazel's not too experienced She's an early bird. She works much more efficiently during the day. Here's her salary, 102. Okay. Whereas Josie, Robin, and Piers are three brooms, so they're very experienced. It's master jander, master jander, master jander, and just jander. And you'll see their efficiency and dexterity, and if they've got other abilities and stuff, you know, to be a manager type, or they can work in the gift shop, or things like that. Okay. And then there's their age. Now. Everybody's got something to their personality, like they're early birds. They like working during the daytime, okay? Now, Robin here, she gets hungry much faster, so that means she's going to be taking breaks to eat. All right, cool. Are they off-season right now or something? Um, Scholar uses their free time to study, and here, but the problem is they have a long commute. And they can often be late for work. So you'll have pros and cons. There's whole lists of pros and cons for the people. And then here, reveal hidden perks for $1,000. We're not going to waste $1,000. This guy's got a hidden perk. These two, these three are knowns. Okay? So we just need, we just need a janitor. So Hazel, we'll just hire Hazel here. And she's going to take, she's going to do the day shift. All right? Straightforward. So there's our first hire. Hooray. Welcome aboard, Hazel. Now. Here's our staff. We're missing staff. All right. So again, so we can click here. Um, mm, management mode. Nope. All right. Administrative department. Uh, dress code, all that stuff. Shoot. Why all of a sudden are we not getting the thing I'm expecting to see here, which is 
doctor mode. That's not what we want. Uh, oh, 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 oops, I forgot. All right, so we got to go into the proper department. We got to go into the proper department. Now. Dang it. There we go. Now we're in it. All right, good. So here it's going to tell how many patients are waiting. Here's your doctor's offices, and here's our reception nurse, okay? So now, your reception nurse, so again, we'll just mouse over this assigned employee, and then we can pick someone from the list. All right, so here's our clinic, uh, and you got hiring agency. They'll find new candidates, but it'll cost you money, reveal hidden perks, and you can edit the characters. You can actually create your own doctors and stuff. So it's super cool. How's your dad doing, bud? Uh, all right, so... Jeff McTaggart, he is a nurse specialist at 34. His patient care is 48%. Reception is at 37%. Okay. Grace Goddard's a two star. Okay. He's got a long commute and a hidden thing. She has a long commute and a baby at home. Oh, no, dirty feet. She leaves dirt everywhere. So she's kind of a pain. But you can train them out of this. There are certain things you can train people up on. Okay. Uh, two hidden perks. Rebecca Brotherton is 22% on patient care and 17% on receptionist. Now, here's the thing about these deals here. You can build a training room and you can send your people in there to train. So you kind of have to hire two people at that point. They'll get experience from doing the job. But if you spend, have them spend the day in their training, they'll go up like 8 to 10% in that given specialty. Now, receptionist is one thing they're the force that means they they can do the job patient care means they can actually work to take care of the patient now uh i'm thinking see she she's a nurse specialist too and again you see a uh, there's a there's a price thing here she's a night owl she's much more efficient at night she has dirty feet this lady has resistance uh rest levels decrease slower So these are cool little things. And she's got hidden perks. So the higher their patient care is, I believe, the higher these numbers, the more they can tell in an initial diagnosis of the patient, the more information they'll get out of the, out of the patient. So when the patient checks in, they'll start asking them questions. And then you'll see, you'll move from a values on your uh, diagnoses, all right? So you have low certainty, medium certainty, and high level certainty, okay? All right, does that make sense? So let's let's say, okay, it's gonna cost us, but she's she's not the most expensive. Well, she's night owl, we don't want night owl. So I think we're gonna go uh, with Jeff McTaggart here. He's got a high level in reception and a very high level patient care. Uh, and he's not gonna make a mess and doesn't have all this hidden crap. I mean, Grace is not bad, but she's very low on her numbers. So you want a good um, initial point of contact. Actually, 22, 17. Actually, let's hire uh, Rebecca here. All right, so Rebecca, so you see that. Now we need a couple of doctors, all right? So let's go over here and see what we got available for doctors, all right? So we got Lois Bonner. She's a four out of five. See, John, see Joanne is a, a, an intern, all right? And you have general medicine, acute medicine, okay? So let's go over these so you can read the mouse over. General medicine qualifications allow the doctor to do all basic examinations, treatments, and affects their speed. Speed means more patients per day, which means more money, all right? It's about flushing people through, uh, you know, as quick as you can. Now, acute medicine gives access to specialized procedures for diagnosing and treating critical patients at emergency. This is helpful, I think, here in the clinic in that there are some things that may be like an inpatient or, excuse me, like an outpatient procedure that they can do in the office. You know, like removing a wart or a cyst or something. or it, It's just it's not anything that requires like anesthesia or anything like that. Diagnosis is important. 
Uh, it affects how often the do doctor will misdiagnose patients, have to consult with other doctors. Anesthesiology. So this doctor is a doctor of anesthesiology, and you've got to have them in your surgical department. Okay? So that's how that looks. And she's got three hidden traits. She's rather expensive. Okay? Joanna's an intern. She doesn't know squat from squat. Now, if we create like a training closet, we could stick her in there for a couple of days before we open the clinic and help get her up to speed. And then as she moves up, I think she gets more expensive. All right. Uh, Felix, he's 48. He's attending. Okay. General medicine, 43. Acute medicine, 38. That's good. Diagnosis, 40. Okay. 381 a month. He's got resistance, but he's also got three hidden perks. So if we wanted to reveal hidden perks, it'd be $1,000. So, and if we want to change it up, we have to click there. So let's let's go ahead and spend the thousand dollars because she's got three, he's got three, and he's got three. Mitch, all right. Mitch is fifty five. He's a fellow, so he's a four, a level four. Okay. So you have intern, and then there's a I think resident, and then it goes to attending fellow, and then I don't know what the last one is. I forget. General medicine fifty eight percent, acute medicine thirty uh, sixty one percent, diagnosis fifty seven, and advanced diagnosis. Advanced diagnosis specialization gives the doctor access to differential diagnosis. Differential diagnosis is when you're struggling with trying to figure out just a, a, a general thing. It, it's a higher level of thought process on breaking down what it is the patient may have. All right. This guy would probably make a, and he's got, he's a hard worker, so he does not take free time breaks. This guy's probably going to be our, our primary. All right. But let's go ahead and spend the money to find out what they got. Uh oh. Mitch may have just fallen off our list. All right, so now, Lois is pleasant. Gives nice staff modifier after interact, interacting with patient, which raises your ratings. Raising your ratings is good. That gets you more patients. She's a good boss. Improves satisfaction to supervise colleagues every morning. That's good. Germaphobe, though. She washes hands three times to be sure. You can train them out of being a germaphobe, too. But this is really, if, if that's the worst thing that they have, who cares? All right. So let's look at Felix's issues. He's a people person, reveals hidden perks of people because people out. Your patients have different uh, personalities too. Okay. Uh, after interacting with them, practical diagnosis, 20% bonus experience to diagnosis skills after successful diagnosis. Resistance we already had, but he's a hedonist. Spends twice as much time enjoying food. <laughs> Still not the worst thing in the world, okay? Then let's look at Mitch, because we were considering Mitch, and Mitch may not be our guy. We may actually move back up to Lois. She's cheaper anyway, and she's got actually three workable um, traits. Mitch likes to drink. Will often show up late and hungover. That's bad. He's also a germaphobe. Now, he's comforting, does not cause discomfort during examinations, which helps, and we already had hard worker. So he's a hard worker, but he's a drunk. So, yeah, we're not going to hire him. We're going to bring in Lois. Okay. And she's going to be our chief doctor. Okay. So she's in charge. And then we'll get one more in here. So let's click on the assign. And you can change. So we got one more candidate that's come in. So we had Joanna, Felix, and Mitch. If you want to reset the candidates, it's going to cost 2500 bucks. So Lauren is an intern. She's got no experience. Uh, she's got one hidden perk. We're not going to pay for that. She does have extra talent for diagnosis, which is good. And she likes to eat. Oh, no, no. Hunger increases much faster. So that, eh. So we could do an intern. But I kind of feel like, you know, in this case, here's what I would consider doing. Because you can set your clinic hours. Is if you want to bring in someone like, like Lauren, okay, you set up a training room and you don't even open the clinic for the first couple of days. You just take a you know hit on your on your cost and then you train people up. Does that make sense? So if you start training them up quick and early, you get your money's worth from the salary and then it, it, it gets helpful because she may need some help, but you can actually help her. Remember, this you don't only design and build the hospital. 
you have to manage the hospital. This is the management part. And then you get to play doctor. All right? So this is the emergency room. Oh, yeah, emergency department. Okay. All right. So what do you guys think we should do? Should we go with Felix, who is a people person and practical diagnoses, and he's got resistance, but he likes to spend more time eating food? Uh, to me, that's not a big deal. Joanna's got nothing special about her, which is why I think I would go with Lauren because she is diagnostic genius and that's going to help, you know, her diagnosis stuff go up quicker. So what do you guys think? We want an intern and then you could also do a night shift person if you set, if you close down at a certain hour. Uh, and let me think if I can... Excuse me, remember, Lauren sounds like a plan. Lauren, L-O-R-I-N, yeah. All right, so let's bring Lauren in, okay? All right, so now we have our staff, and we have just day shift people only, okay? Uh, so there's really one other thing we can do, but we're not, we'll, we can do that kind of while we're playing, all right? So we got on-call room and nurses station. This is uh, things you need if you're going to have uh, rooms and stuff. Trauma center, uh, uh, observation room, what have you. Okay. Uh, so staff, uh, let me see. So here you click on your staff. Okay. So it shows who you got. All right. All employees. Okay. And there's training. Doctor's ratings, satisfaction, salary, okay? Who the supervisor is, okay? Um, and what we need is, uh, we have the one person in here. Doop, doop, doop. This is the direction I tend to like to watch from, but we don't have to. Let me see if I turn the walls back on. Okay, it's not going to do it. All right. So let's see if there's anything else. Open departments, patient table, bit, 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 bit. Closed department, we don't want to do that. Manage plan, surgery, blah, 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 blah. Hugh is here. Howdy, howdy. Happy, happy Wednesday to you. Oh, here's also, uh, you can use just the, the mouse to move stuff around. Okay. And we have four of 400 employees. And then it'll show the rating of your, here's your prestige. Okay. And it'll show your, all your data and stuff down here that you want. And then there's close, clear notifications. We'll get notifications down here. Uh, what else? Budgets, ambulance, insurance companies, departments, statistics. I think, I think the only thing we want to do now Let me just check this. Um, back in the build mode. Uh, let's make the walls here pretty in the bathroom. Uh, oh, I don't see. These are your bathroom stall restroom walls. Okay. Oh, they are there. Okay. You can see the base of it right there. So that's all built in there as part of the prefab. And then... Um, We'll do like tile walls like this. And then I think you know, we'll go like that and then do that and then that and then this. Um, we're not going to do the exterior walls at this time. And then we do this and this and then this across the front. So we have a nice neutral tone, a little bit of color. Tile walls makes it easier to clean, whatever. Uh, and then if we want to do flooring, we could do that, right? So let's throw, let's just throw some wood flooring in here, boom, like that. And I like the wood flooring out here like this, boom. And then for the hallway, we could go with a lighter color or we could go with the darker. And then we'll just run that down like this, boom, pretty. Okay, cool. Uh, we don't have anything fancy out here as yet. We could just throw this wall color there okay 
And then one other thing. I mean, there's just so much to this. Uh, let's turn the walls back on so we can see. This is what the patients would see out here, right? Uh, if we go here and then go here, this is uh, emergency general medical cross. Uh, autopsy, burn unit, cleaning closet. Um, CT diagnostic corridor. See, Red Cross is a protected symbol. You can't actually do a Red Cross, which is stupid as hell, but whatever. Um, emergency. We'll just do an emergency wall decal. And we'll just say this is the emergency clinic. All right. And then uh, let's rotate this way. And we'll go over here. And these are, these are our two exam rooms for now. So we can do one and do that there. And then two, do that there. Cool. All right, here's our waiting area. I mean, this is kind of stupid, but whatever. If it's stupid, but it works, it's not stupid. Um, and then there's restrooms, you know. That's dumb. Now I could put, I could put um, posters on the wall or calendars and stuff you can put art on the wall but if you put it above seats people technically can't see it okay that's one technicality to it uh, so let's say we put a uh, you know like a diabetes poster here and maybe we put a oh I know what I want these so I'm gonna move this diabetes poster let me right click that we move that over there so you put this on the wall and then I uh, you put that and then you put where is it mm, hand sanitation station is that here yeah I think it's here this in fact the dispenser there we go boom all right, so that looks cool and neat and neat and cool sort of way. Uh, and then we want a wall defibrillator right there. And then we're going to put a, where are they? Where is it? I don't see it. Where is it? Right here. Mobile cabinet. It's a crash cart. We could put a, we could put the, uh, so if you want to do like, see the defibrillator we can actually put that on the crash cart so there's a wall defibrillator and then um, one on the crash cart uh, let me see if there's anything else I could put on there actually no we want the crash cart to have the wall defibrillator and oh shoot what am I moving around oh no 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 back to game all right I didn't want to move anything around there inadvertently. Okay, cool. So there's our Wi-Fi deal, a Wafa. And we can't put that there. It's got to be there. We can move our Wafa. Um, that can actually be up there. We can move the fire extinguisher right there. Okay. Is this a CAD program? No, this is Project Hospital. Now available on Steam from Oxymoron Games for you, the oxymoron in each of us. Let me put, uh, fix that wall. And that, I think, pretty well makes us pretty. All right. One thing we'll do, because you actually make money off the vending machines, is let's make sure we put vending machines outside. So let's put the walls down. We're going to put some seats in the hallway. So this uh, it's a it's a corridor so we technically need to label it as such that's management mode see we don't have this labeled so corridor okay so there's the corridor so our janitor type 
Uh, it's, well, shoot. Um, I want to make sure our janitor, because janitors will clean anything in the hospital. Um, I think they will clean, if they're assigned to a particular department, they will clean that department first, and then they will, um, you know, go around and clean the general stuff, okay? So there's that. Let's go back into build mode. Look at, uh, not that, this. So there's outside trash bins. There's roof stuff you can do. I mean, there's you can do all kinds of freaking planters and helipad stuff and, you know, all, all kinds of cool stuff. It's great. But let's go here. Let's do a clock on the wall. Um, let's do a... Where are they? Warming blankets, video projectors. That's for your training rooms, TV and TV. TV's got to go on a table. T-shirt stands and all that goes in your uh, gift shop. Water closet, whiteboards go in your training rooms. Signboards go in your cafeterias. Um, then you isolation walls and, and AC stuff. That uh, goes in uh, if you create an isolation ward. Let's do an info TV here. All right, where did we... Let me try this. Let me... Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, vending machine. We need to rotate. And actually, we'll do it over here by the this. And then there's a coffee vending machine we'll do over here. And then we'll just put in a couple of benches uh, right here and like right here. Okay. Um, what else can we do? Uh, we could throw in a coffee table between the two, put some brochures on it, okay? Fire alarm out in the hallway. Uh, let's put that there. Escape route map, we'll put that here. We need a garbage bin, let's put that here, All right? And then, uh, ah, potted plant, that's what, I, oh shoot, hey, that goes here. Oh, there's a thing on the wall. That's okay. So let me move the thing on the wall. We'll put one there, and then we're going to move this over here. And the pipe, this will make people happier. Okay. And there we go. So now we kind of made a, a pretty little setup here. Um, as you come in, and then like the poster for stupid vac vaccination stuff. We won't talk about that. Sp Berm cell? What? Um, there's restricted area stuff, urology. Your what? Accidents. Accidents is a good thing. Let's just put a poster up for that. And then we'll actually put a poster up here for that too. All right, swell. All right, I think we've uh, dinked around with this long enough. So let me, do I have a, there should be a garbage can in the restroom. Yes, it's right below the blower. Great. All right, let's get this thing opened up, shall we? I think we shall. So we're going to come over this way so we can see everything that's going on. Okay. We're going to open our emergency clinic. Now, Anonymous Hospital, these are your insurance companies. Okay. Well, we don't want, uh, Open clinic and any special, so you unlock these, okay? Departments, workload day, workload night. Uh, let me see here. Mm. No. No. Uh, I guess we just close down at night. Oh, wait, day shift. 700 to, uh, 2000. Show high daily schedule. Okay. It's a day shift. So 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. And, um, 
I think we're ready to go. I think we just say, uh, go. There we go. So our doctors are in the house. Hooray. And then this lady's thinking about something. Here we go. Where's all the teepee? It's in the uh, it's in the the closet over here, in the janitor's closet. I'm not sure where she's going. Where's she going? She's going home. Why is she going home? Hold on. <laughs> Wait. Pause. Why are you going home? Uh oh. Assigned rooms. Oh, you gotta assign. Shoot. Uh. I think I gotta change her department. She's on the day shift. Oh, there we go. We gotta assign her to the workspace. Nope. Shoot, that's not it. Dang it. Oh my gosh, it's been a while since I've done this. Uh, all right, where, where'd you go, lady? Administration. All right, there you are. Supervisor, level two. She's going, she shouldn't be going home. Hmm. Oh, there we go. That should take care of this. Let's see if that gets her back. Get her back. Get her back. Oh, no. Back the game. All right, well, whatever. We'll figure it out. All right, now, you hear the TV running. Okay? They're thinking about, you'll see what people are thinking about. So we're waiting on uh, patients to come in. And let's see. I think we're open. Clinic hours start eight o'clock. Well, that girl's still walking away. <laughs> That's not good. Damn it. Why am I what am I forgetting here? Clinics open. What am I forgetting? Well, if I get my act together here, I could build a classroom, I think, here. Uh, Got to rotate this way. Employee has no workspace. Okay. Without common room on it. Uh, what? Not the common room. Oh. All right, let me see here. I think we need a common room. Um, eight by six. Yeah, that's simple enough. All right. Um, rotate, rotate. And boom. So now, there's a common room. This is for... Yeah, so there's a common room. And then there's, see, there's an employee restroom in there, too. Um, what is the issue? I'm getting no... been too long since I've played this. I don't know why. 
that get me patience. The clinic's open from 8 a.m. to a shared room uh, okay so right now we do not have a trauma ER the ambulances would go right here drop off patients they'd come in through these doors and then I will eventually build a trauma ER over here but you start with just your basic um, doctor's offices so you're basically starting off with a dock in the box situation okay so what I'm going to do is actually go into build mode again Throw down some uh, foundation, foundation, and we're going to go ahead and build out this end of the building, which that's two more doctor's offices worth of space. But what I want to do is, and we'll go ahead and build out this space, I guess. Do we really want to do that? We're cutting into our money pretty big. That's $5,000. What I want to do is build a training room. So if we're going to do five by six, that's one, two, three, four, five by six. All right, so that takes up the space of one doctor's office, right? Because there's another one right there, okay? So now, I don't want to put any windows in there yet because I don't know what uh, what just we just wanted to. Oh wait, uh, we could do a restricted area door and we'll do layout of mm, okay. Let's go here. Study room. That's what we want. Okay, so so now for the study room, we got projector, screen. Because if our chick, if our intern chick's going to sit around, we might as well have her doing something, right? So one, two, three. Okay. There's that. Now we got to set up a video projector and see now that goes here. Okay. And then you put a couple of fancy chairs in. And then you can do a desk right here. And then you put like a laptop PC on it. And a printer. No printer. Cool. There's that. And then just need an office chair. Do that. So now we just need a medicinal shelf, bookshelf, or bookcase. Uh, we'll do a bookcase there. We'll do a couple of fancy chairs here. And then throw in a water dispenser. Yeah, there. Throw a vending machine in here. Uh, and then a. So we've, we've actually fulfilled the requirements for the room. Uh, what I want to put in now is the ubiquitous. Where is it? Where is it? Where, where, am I, where am I looking for? What am I looking for? What am I looking for? It's here. Uh, a clock is good. We can put that on the wall up here. I don't think we can put it. Oh, yeah, we can put it up there. Put it above the seat there, sure. 
escape and rescue plan. We're going to put that right here because we're going to put a door right here. And that's going to be a white door. And then we just need a garbage can. Oh, there's, uh, damn it. It's right in front of me and I'm just not seeing it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Life support stuff. I've passed. Don't need any of that. These are for rooms. Paper holder. Don't need a scrubbing sink. I just want a. Oh, it's right here. And it's right. Oh, come on. Where the hell is it? Put that there, and then we need the deal above it. And that is... Oh, my gosh. Why can I not find this? For frack's sake. Stroke poster down the wall. Why am I not seeing the deal I'm looking for? Drug shelves. There's a hand dryer that goes in the bathroom. Hi, Stephanie. How are you today? Uh, shoot. Uh, it's got to be here. This, this, eye test, fume hood, it's lab stuff, life monitors, no, oxygen tanks, ugh, why am I not freaking finding what I'm, I still, I'm like freaking U2 song, still haven't found what I'm looking for, shockwave therapy, I've been through that, that's lithotripsy. When they blast your kidneys uh, with a low frequency sound to break up kidney stones. Been there, done that. That's exterior crap. That's. I am having such a freaking meltdown on this deal. Not that it matters, but it matters. Disinfectant tools. Info board. I do want to put an info board in here. Let's put an info board right here. Fire alarm. We'll put that out in the hall. Along with fire extinguisher. Good to have that there. Shoot. There's the plastic camper. I can't believe I cannot find the stupid thing with the hand sanitizer. Oh my gosh. This is killing me, Smalls. Killing me, Smalls. Why the hell can I not find this? Is it not under H for hand sanitizer? Or am I just not thinking to look under H for hand? There's hand dryer, right? 
Oh, it's under sanitation station, I think. S, 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 S. Well, nope. That's not there either. Dumbass. Look under here for S, for sanitation. Sanitary equipment sample. Nope. Oh, my gosh. This is horrible. Okay. Thanks. Oh, salad with chicken from Chick-fil-A. That's what I'm making for myself for dinner tonight. I got fresh, I got baby spinach, and I got rotisserie chicken, and I got um, cherub tomatoes, and I got baby carrots, and I got cheddar cheese cubes, and I've got olive garden salad dressing. Mm-hmm. Now you like me now. Um, shit. Disinfectant tools. These are not what I'm looking for. That's tools. Poster skull. S S S sanitation. S restricted. Oh my freaking lord. Umbrella stand. That's cool. I can touch. I. Why is it I can never find this damn thing? I should have played this for a minute for. <laughs> I did a freaking live stream. I feel like such a moron here because I can't figure out where the frack. Oh, first a fire hose would be cool to put on the wall. Yeah, let's do that. You can find all kinds of cool shit to put everywhere on your in your hospital here. Bonbons. Yeah. You know, I've got one of them right there on the wall. Look. Right there above the hamper. Right there. There's under H for hand. There's hand dryer. No, see? We checked that. Right? I, I don't even know why I'm even bothering at this point. I remember I thought it was over here because you need that you technically need this in every single room. For God's sake. I mean, we literally had to, when we were doing, when I was working at MCD, you, when you walked into a room, you wanted to pay, there it is, god damn it, fucking disinfectant dispenser, Jesus, ugh, there you go, fuck's sake, okay, are we done farting around now, I think we're done farting around now, so here's what we're going to do, we're going to go to management mode, we're going to look at our, eh, that's employees all, why are well, where is everyone? I want to see the emergency department. We're going to open up Lori Griffin. And we want to not dismiss, select department. She's filling free time. She's level four intern. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Right here. All right. So you can send an employee to the study room. Okay. All right, let's get her some experience. So, so then it appears now she's going to go work in the study room. Okay, cool. All right. Let's get back to it, I think. I still don't know why we don't have any patients. That's okay. We're going to speed up time and see if some people show up. Otherwise, I don't know what the hell I'm, I'm doing something wrong. All right, she's going to the study room. That's great. Home chick still went home. Our freaking um, knucklehead. I don't know if you get anybody the first day, though. All right, now see, she went, the doc went in here. She's in there studying. Hey, doc, you know something? Hey, 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 doc. Ain't nobody here, so why don't you make yourself useful and go study? <laughs> I've opened the fucking clinic. What do I have to do? <sighs> Dependency training. Whoa, that's cool.
Get your ass into work. Come study. And Rebecca, while you're here, no, we're gonna we're gonna keep her good to go. Okay. So Doc's in, the nurse is in. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything else that's janitors, technologists, blah 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 blah. Okay. Open management. Employee has no workspace. Yes, she does. I think. Uh, oh, wait. Emergency cleaning closet. Now she's got workspace. What an idiot. I forgot. That's a prefab. Now we're set. Hooray and huzzah. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's complicated, but all right. Now we got it figured out. So now Lois or whatever the hell her name is should be good to go. It's been, it's just been like over a year since I've played this. And now it's like I've been live streaming for like two hours and we just finally got to the point. Yeah, almost two hours. I was going to do a double play today, but I knew that... It would be fun. All right. Doc's working. She's studying. So see, she'll she'll sit in there and study. That's cool. Your staff's got a place to chill. Okay. And here comes a patient. Hooray. Let's speed this shit up. Let's go, people. Move your ass and get in here. <laughs> Whew. Okay, here we go. Now let's slow it down. All right, so now you can see what happens. Let's turn this way. So this person sits down. Okay, she gets experience points. So now, let's look at this patient. So Sebastian Morgan, go into the waiting room. Okay, he's checked in. What? He's got a chest injury. Okay. Available examinations. You can take this over. Okay, and do all this stuff. And available treatments is just emergency care. Mm -hmm. So he will get taken care of when he gets taken care of. Is this the speed? Nope, that's not. All right. Now she's talking to Douglas. Douglas has a fever. Okay, so Douglas is going to go sit down. He got the same ugly ass. All right. Now this guy's just gotten happier. Now he's been called back. That's what the ding ding. When you hear the, the doorbell, that means he's been called back to see the doc. So she's going to talk to him. And he's going to, all right. So he said, take off your shirt. So don't hit the dirt. Okay. So now you'll see the symptom stuff change over here on the right. She's doing, a, uh, she's chest uh, articulation, osculation. Now she's doing a physical exam. Put your shirt back on. There's no clear diagnose, diagnosis. All right. Oh, Matt, adding more diagnostic equipment laboratories or radiology rooms. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. So his symptoms are chest injury. He's got pain. He's got redness. He's got swelling. She, I think she can do a differential. Oh, that might have been the other one. I can't do a chest x-ray because I don't have a, a so we've got treatments we can give him. Uh, she's done this. So we did triage and reception. And I can take control here. So he's either got chest contusion or broken ribs. Chest contusion is just a bruise. We're going to go with that. We're going to go with a chest contusion. She's going to give him some ointment and send his ass home, and we're going to get paid. <laughs> yeah, because if he had broken ribs, he I, I, I don't think he'd be swinging his legs. Now, he may come back, and we'll lose points if he comes back. But if we get this right, then it's a good deal. 
Okay, we picked up experience. He's waiting. She's getting some ointment for him. Some analgesics. All right, objective complete. Treat one patient. Yay, we got a $20,000 government grant. Hooray and huzzah. Okay. Now, our next step. Now, see, he's he's showing happy, which is great. Okay. And he's unassing this joint and heading home. So, good. I don't know why it's ugly green shirt day. Maybe it's um, St. Patrick's Day or something. Now, the ding dong was for this guy. Okay. It wants us to open a radiology clinic. Ugh. I didn't want to do that this early. But we got a $20,000 grant, right? So we might as well do that. So how would we do that? Let me show you. We'll go into building mode. I'm going to slap down some foundation to get the hallway extended past the bathroom uh, a little bit. But first, actually, we'll go to there. Now, I have a prefab uh, x-ray unit. There's an MRI, CT, x-ray room. Here we go, six by six. The problem is we've got to set this up with a waiting area, which I think is out here. I don't know if there's a check-in. Okay, x-ray, so that would go that way. Um... So we're going to have to hire an x-ray tech. So if we plunk this down. It's not really what I want. I don't want to do it that way. I want to do it this way. This is going to cost a little bit more, but we'll be okay. All right. So remember, $20,000 grant. Now that cost a lot of money to build that room. And it's turned the wrong way. There. Okay, so here... This is what we want. So we got to build foundation out here. Nope, not there. Here. And then we're just going to build a four wide corridor to here. So we're going to create a waiting area over here. Now, uh, in here, we can, we're just going to put in a double door of windows and we're just going to put that. That's going to be our fire door. Okay. Um, and then what we need is, uh, what's the option here? It's this, no, build a wall there, up. Oh. Poop. That's not what I wanted. Well, I don't want that either. Just plain wall is fine. Okay, now we got that closed in. So this is going to be a radiology department, so we need a wall across here. Let's just build this kind of wall, and then we're going to make it tan on the outside. We're going to actually just extend this wall like that. Make that pretty, make that pretty, okay? Rotate this way, make this pretty, okay? Now, radiology, I want to be green. Well, that's labs. We'll do purple for radiology. What do you think of purple for radiology? Does that sound good? Swelling? Well, a bruise causes swelling, right? All right, contusion, so bruised area can swell. Okay, so we'll do that, and then one more. Okay, good, we got the whole, well, nope, this wall right here. So the department's purple for radiology. Okay, great. Now, so there's x-ray room. Now we just got it. so what we got to do now is we're creating a radiology department. So we got to go in here. And then we go here to radiology. Uh, so this says clinic. So now we're showing radiology clinic. Uh, we're going to do waiting room here. Okay. It's showing it's not accessible. Eh, that's correctable. We just slap a door in here. Okay. Um, we'll do double glass doors. Sure. That's cool. Boom. 
fixes that. See, now that fixed our master idiot alert. All right. What is, what's missing equipment in our, oh, you're pissing me off. Fa -fa. Uh, there's watch windows already built in there. All right. So let's go back to here. Missing. Oh, it's just missing staff. Okay. That's, that's easy enough. So let's go here for a day shift and let's find someone we want to hire. So here's Teresa Wilder. She's an F. Oh, she's good. Everyone's experienced at least. So they're senior scientists and master scientists. One, two, three. We'll just probably go with a senior scientist, but we want someone who's good at radiology. Edward is not good at radiology, and he's got dirty feet. Teresa is okay at radiology. She's better at biochemistry. Uh, she's a scholar, so she uses free time to study. That's great. They all have one hidden trait. Callum is even better at radiology, <laughs> has a long commute, but is a hard worker. He's expensive, though. And then we've got Nancy, who also has a long commute and a hidden trait. She's not so expensive. Uh, how much cash we got? We're going to actually show their stuff. Okay. So, Teresa. Teresa. Okay. Yes. There's three different labs. There's hematology, histology, and microbiology labs. So, uh, the footprint means they have dirty feet. So, they leave dirt everywhere. But you can send them into training, and it will help get rid of that. So now Callum has a long commute and they are depressed, which sucks. So that can affect their satisfaction with patients, but they're a hard worker. All right. So that's a good thing. So yeah, there's all kinds of, all kinds of neat uh, modifications. All right, so, uh, nope, don't need anything from them. All right, you like this? This, this, okay, so again, for those of you who've just uh, tuned in, first of all, I'm A-Train. Thanks for checking out the channel. Uh, we're playing Project Hospital from Oxymoron Games. This is three games in one. It's from 2018. They've just released their, uh, this is Beta 41, though. So they've finally gotten back to the game, and they're making some uh, stuff, adjustments and whatever. It's effectively three games in one, if you haven't figured it out yet. There's a building game, there's a management, and then you get to play doctor. And there's like 100 plus diagnoses built into this. There's a whole bunch of different departments. There's a whole bunch of shizzle. I mean, it's just super cool. So anyway, so we need to hire uh, a radiologist here. I'm thinking Callum, it's gonna be expensive, but I mean, then we're gonna get the best radiology out of the deal. Though Nancy, Nancy has a commute, she is a people person, which is good. And we can train her up if we get a second person. And so what you can do is just have your clinic open during the day and have your second person work at night and then just stick them into the uh, training room. So, yeah, if things are kind of slow, stick them in the training room. Patients may have to wait a little bit, but then your people get, uh, get trained. All right, so let me do a corridor here, and that's going to be, actually, wait a minute. This should be missing required staff. Yep, 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 yep. Administrative department corridor. Uh, yeah. There. That's effectively the admin. Which, again, a uh, I think uh, okay. These are shared. I think this will be okay. Uh, okay, so let's go back to here. And we got to go here and here. Okay. 
I don't want management. I want to hire some. Oh, we got to do this room here real quick. Uh, so let's just do a seat here and a seat here and a Q machine. And we'll do an info TV right here. Cool. And that's all we need in the room effectively. We don't want people drinking water in there. Uh, we could put, you know, like a plant or something. Uh, I always put escape plans by the doors because that seems logical, right? We'll put a fire alarm in the room because that seems logical. And a clock is always good. And a magazine rack sure put that over here right there cool uh, and then a potted plant potted plants are always good sweet all right cool that should take care of that so we got to go back to hiring who we're gonna hire here and it keeps bouncing me to, oh, because we're not in the right department. We gotta go here. Damn it. Oh my gosh. Come on. Radiology. Staff table. Okay, we don't. Oh, here we go. All right. So, who are we gonna hire? I think Nancy. She gives us the most bang for the buck. This chick is. is uh, this chick is m more expensive. Has a higher biochem. No, she's got a lower biochemistry. She's only 13 in radiology. She is a people person and she likes to study. Whereas Nancy is, is significantly cheaper, but is higher in radiology and just, you know, she can be late sometimes. So I think we'll just hire her. All right, objective complete. And there's another $30,000. All right. So it's going to push us along here, which is going to kind of suck. But we will, we will rock you. All right, so go back to hospital mode and let's resume. So dude went home. We could have sent him in for radiology. We did not. All right, so let's see what this guy's issue is. What are you bitching about? You got a fever and fatigue. All right. Does your clam hurt? Irritable cough? Oh, Jesus. Please don't freaking. So next it's going to want us to build a laboratory. And see how it says open medical laboratories clinic? Ugh. We're in a histology lab. So she's going to listen to his chest. She, he's either got, he's got the flu. She's not sure which version of the flu he's got. She's, he's got the flu. We'd have to have a lab to test him to know for sure which version uh and see available examinations so he's got all these symptoms okay so now she's going to do nasal cavity inspection and she'll do temperature measurement she could do differential diagnosis but it's not available for her serologic technology and necessary equipment we have to have a lab for this so hopefully she'll be able to just figure it out but it's pretty close so this could be a problem all right it's increased a little bit for influenza b it's gone to 5248 so we could do this we could say here take this 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 okay and send him home And we're going to tell her to do this, too. And then let's see what this guy's problem is. He's got an arm injury. He's got a palm problem. He's probably a palm pilot. And, yeah, he was jerking him off. Yeah, he's got the you-know-what. He, he, his, his clam hurts. Now, did our... 
Oh, there she is. No, this are um, okay. So she's wearing the right color. I don't know why our stupid janitor chick didn't come back. And that's. Uh, radiology. You don't have doctors and stuff in there. No, gray. There's dress code for radiology. And then in emergency. Janitor's going to be gray. Technologists. Yeah, we'll just do everyone in the blue. Yeah, that's fine. But where... She's got a training schedule. I don't know why she's not at work, though. She's at home. I guess she'll be back tomorrow. If I don't fire her dumb ass first. All right, what time is it? 1230. Okay. Our radiologist is bored. She's still working up. See, she picks up XP here. And there's your stuff. All right, good. Well, nope, she put him back on the table. And she's doing, all right, she's doing a temperature measurement. There's no clear diagnosis. Let's, let's go with this. We're going to say he's got influenza B. There you go. Boom, we get paid. He's happy. Goodbye. Next. See, so we need Doc over here. I can't click on her for some. Uh, uh, there she is. Now, her general medicine, see, it's up to 3%. It was at zero. So she's learning. All right, this guy, boom. Oh, he's going to the restroom. So now she's seeing this guy. Hold it. Slow down. Slow down, fool. What's her story? Oh, yikes. She got a pulmonary infection of some sort. She's been examined. So Doc, Doc will figure this stuff out. Oh, now, see, this guy's getting x-rayed. And then this should tell us what his status is. And then he'll go back to see Doc again. He's got an arm contusion. He's got a bruise. Come on, dude. Now, her, she... Has bronchitis. So she's been diagnosed. She's just going to get a chest x ray. Now, something we could do, I, I don't think it's, a, it's worth it yet, but we could hire a third doctor for here. You know, set up a third office. And move the FNG into the third office. We could hire another doctor. All right. Insurance company can be contracted. Okay. So we can do uh, uninsured. So you get 70% of the, the money there. Not a big fan of that. Um, all right. 80% ten, sends 10 people. Open a medical laboratories clinic. See, you got this. Shoot. Cover cost modifiers sent by this. I don't want uninsured. All right, so he's happy. Hooray. You're out of here. All right, you've been, she's been called in. All right, and is she the one with bronchitis? She got bronchitis. Doc's giving her some meds. Cha-ching. Nice chunk of change there. Next. Another satisfied customer. Or what you got? Crumbly nail. Oh, 
iron deficiency anemia that's been identified bam doc's got it figured out this is what you like here is when doc figures it out and bada bing bada boom give you some athlete's foot spray or something like that there you go cha ching goodbye next rolling patients through that's the way to get it done because it's almost the end of the day here boom and she's gonna have him sit on the table oh this is the guy with the arm bruise she's gonna bandage him up there you go here here's some 800 milligram advil ibuprofen boom You're all set Cha ching and that is going to wrap up the first day in the hospital. The clinic closes at 6 p.m. It's a day shift. Then ends at uh, the end. All right. And she's down here still studying, but she's at 7%. Okay. So she's getting a little bit better. She's gotten to 8%. See? So now, what we could do is set her up to study again. And now it cost $800. So tomorrow she'll spend the day studying again. Our radiology chick. She could be in here. Now, the way this kind of works is like we could set up a whole second room or, again, put her on night shift. And then train her up on the night shift. So let's say we're going to put her to school for radiology. And she's going to spend 800 with That cost is $800. She's going to spend eight, eight hours studying tomorrow. But see, she's back in here already working. And so her numbers are starting going up. But there's the end of the shift. Well, her general medicine went up 1% doctor works so hard that's right room workload idle rooms one idle room critical workload zero okay so uh, radiology is giving us a master idiot alert because we don't have anybody in there okay well whatever now we got sixty thousand um, dollars there's a couple different things we could do here, and we can fast forward to the end of the day. Um, let me see here. Uh, she's studying though. She's a nine percent general medicine. That's good. And now she's she's a ten percent. She's gonna go home. So we are closed for the night, all right? So good show. We're at $60,000. Now, what would a laboratory cost us? Well, one, the laboratory is going to cost us space. And so we've got kind of kind of got radiology going here. And we could set up a lab this way, I guess. Uh, eh. Uh, hmm. So again, I want to reserve all this space over here. Do I have a, let me see here, trauma room. Yeah, it's five by six. Okay. So that would be rotate that way. And we, unfortunately, we can't build it at this time. It's not even showing. It's prefab's not allowed in the active department. Well, it's allowed in that department, bitch. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. This will work because that's, that's a fairly good spot there because I can move that fire um, deal and the plant. And... It puts us a couple tiles away from the tree. So yeah, so we could build that in there. We're not going to at this time because that takes a lot more stuff than we got. So it kind of walks you through the process. 
right? And so, you know, if we say we do prefabs, and I think I have a lab. Left my single row, HDU, bathroom, hemato hematology lab. Is that the one we need? I think it's the hem whoop, whoop. hematology lab. Hem Hello? Oh, we got to have the right department. Medical laboratories. I think, nope, that's not it either. Let's see. There's lab. Now, so again, there will be, you know, simple stuff like there's this layout, but look how huge it is. This is big enough, I think, for two technicians. The computers are what determine the number. Yeah, there's two computers. So that's a big enough lab for two technicians. And then there's like a huge lab, which I think has room for three or four. Uh, there's two s computers. Yeah, there's room for four in this one. That's just, that's huge. And then you got microbiology and then you got histology as well. Yeah, hematology, you do blood work. So, um, I think I've got a very small hematology lab. There we go. It's only got a single um, workstation, but it gets the job done. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm saying you just want to get the job done, right? So, boom. Okay. And then we'll build the corridor. Not that. We got to do the foundation first. So we're just going to put this here and then we'll do uh, let the walls here and here. Okay. And then we just need to put a door in here and we'll just do the simple double glass doors like that. Okay. And then uh, all we got to do is dress out. Oh, wait, we go to the department waiting room. For medical laboratories boom just like that and then we can hit escape and then we double click here and it brings up what we need to put in the room right so we just need to check in and we'll put that uh here and then we'll put the info tv above it okay simple and then we'll put a uh, bench here and because I'm not expecting having a ton of people here there and then we can do one here there's six and in doing that uh, we can just put like a plant and a corner table oh we need an escape plan as we do that and then a um, do a poster on the wall. So this is going to be, let's see, we got diabetes, accidents, blood disorders, blood donor, poster. Mm, sure. People can look at that in their spare time. What color red? I do not understand the words coming out of your mouth. What is your question? Ah, and then we can do. Well, no, we're not going to do that there. Um, clock there, coffee table here, brochures here. go and we'll do a painting of whoever this guy is 
Well, we can't really see that in the corner, so I'd rather do a plant. And this will do. Cool. All right, there. So now we just have to hire a staff member here. No, we don't need to go here. And then we need a... All right, so we need a lab tech. Um... We need a cleaning closet. We got cleaning closet. <sighs> okay, I'll figure the cleaning closet out here in a minute because we gotta get home bitch back in here to actually do our job. All right, so we got some options here. Samantha Packer is a master scientist, 66 in biochemistry. Uh, USG is ultrasound. Okay, and Rattray. Okay, so Samantha is gonna cost the most or close. She's got a commute, she runs late, but she works hard. Anne is an FNG. She's a little lower. She likes to eat. Or she has to eat a lot. She's also got resistance to rest levels. She's cheap. Uh, Daniel Monroe. Uh, oh, my God. Okay. I think we're hard. This guy must have something really bad in this hidden thing. If he doesn't, he's hired. His biochemistry is 86%. And he's only 130 bucks a day. <laughs> uh what oh for uh for labs no labs um is always this aqua shoot where is it start green yeah that's the color of the labs people wore over at medical city i think yeah What's this color? Ugh, that's gross. There we go. Well, no, Janders wear gray. All right. Daniel's looking real good. We're going to spend a thousand bucks to find out what his door. What? Loyal. Dude. Yeah, you're hired. <laughs> I mean, look, this guy's 96%. He's got a long commute. He's got resistance and he's hedonist. Look how much he is. 333 bucks. This dude, so hired. $50,000 government grant. Thank you very much. All right. Let's. Now he's going to head home for the night. So that's fine. Let's get out of here. I got to figure out, though, before we get too deep into this, I need to figure out the cleaning. Okay. Now we change that. So now we have an issue where I'm going to move Hazel, change department, select department, and she's, whoops, there. Now sh Hazel should be good to go, I think. Now why do we have a master idiot alert here in radiology? I don't know why. Okay, this is as fast as we can go with the clock. And then you can jump forward to 7 a.m. the next morning when it gets to midnight. It'll give you the option in case you're you're working the um, deal. Wild celebrations of a national holiday cause more injun, injured patients to come. Oh, boy. 40% more injured patients arrive each day. <gasps> Uh-oh. <laughs> Whoops. Damn it, she has no workspace. For fuck's sake. She does have work a workspace. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hold. All right. Look here. Boom. Boom. There's her workspace. I don't understand. Okay. So how about I try this then? I guess I'll have to spend the money 
on a janitor closet and assign her dumbass to it or something. Uh, prefab, I've got small one, a small one. Uh, cleaning closet, four by four. Okay. Uh, it doesn't need the window in it. Hmm. Okay, I have a plan. I'm not saying it's a great plan, but I have a plan. Let me rotate this to here. Let me zoom in and see if we've got this in a place here where I can put this. Nope. Rotate. Okay. So all we got to do is move that poster. And we can just move that poster over here. Boom. Okay. Now, go back to our 4x4 cleaning closet. And see, now we can slip this in here. We're two tiles from, yeah. Yeah, there we go. It's going to goof up our design a little bit. I feel like I want to move those things over. First off. Now, there is, a, there is a way to do, all right, I'm going to try to keep this evened up here. Cleaning closet, bathroom and closet, we don't, bathroom and closet actually would be good because then there's just a general bathroom in the hallway. And then we can assign Knucklehead to the closet. Um, okay. I think we can do this this way. Let's just plop that in there. We'll figure this out. Okay. So now we go to assignment. Okay. And it's, this actually is not, this is going to be administrative, restroom, right? Good. Cleaning closet, right? Good. Okay. That's administrative department, all right? So this should be good. Now, Hazel is going to be assigned there. So she should be good to go now. Nope. All right. Now, I think we skip night okay see how the clock's going super fast second start of the right and stay on until morning all right okay let's get everybody in here and get working people let's go uh oh wait <laughs> wait hold it two things crap hang on um we're going to make a change here we're going we're gonna to hire a new doc. So let's go into admin. Click. Why did it go there? I want admin. Oh, for frack's sake. Oh, this is the administrative department. We don't want the administrative department. We want this department. Okay, so here we go. All right, so Lauren Griffin. If we click. Nope, we don't want that. Where we do is click her. And we're actually going to move her to the night shift. Okay, so she can come in and train overnight. All right. And now we're going to hire another doctor. All right, so. Now we got $90,000 too. Stitching, bada bing. Um, okay, so we got Mitch the bitch. We know he's a problem, he's a drunk. We could dismiss him. We could rotate them out. Felix, he's a brainiac. He's a people person. He's a very good on diagnosis resistance. He likes to eat. 43% and 38%, 40% on diagnosis. That's good. He's kind of pricey. Matt's, we don't, we don't really want another fellow. We already got a fellow lover. So the issue here, actually Felix is probably going to be our good choice. Because he's a three, I want a two star or three, I mean a two, level two or three doctor. 
at this point. But his diagnosis is really high. His is even higher. His is even higher. And he's a scholar type. We spend a thousand there. Oh, he's a hedonist too. Uh, so 67 to anesthesiologist type 2. Mitch has advanced diagnoses, blah, blah, blah. This guy's really slow, but takes 20% less salary than when uh, loving up. But he's an intern, so we'd have to train him, so we don't want him. So general medicine, diagnosis, acute, I think we'll take this guy. All right, there we go. Cool. Oops, nope. So back we go and room zoom zoom and a boom boom. So girlfriend's coming in. She's going to check out and she's going to go home. See ya. Smell you later. Now the clinic's open. Now we still have a master idiot alert on uh, radiology. We're just going to try to get through eight hours of the day without anybody needing radiology. Okay. Hopefully. Our lab tech is lab teching. This is good. All right. Whoop, 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 whoop. Let's slow down and see what this lady's problem is. Oh, of course. Elbow. Oh, she's got golfer's elbow. Okay, she's good to go. We could up x-ray the limb, but we don't need to. Docs figured it out. That's sweet. All right, cool. So go about this speed. And what's this guy's problem? What's your problem? Kid. He's got chest pain. He's got COPD. Uh, if he has bronchitis or something, we're going to need to x-ray him, which is going to suck. All right, Daniel. Oh, you're not next. You're next. Pain, arm injury. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She got a bruise. Swelling, pain. Uh-oh. Go in the chair. Tenderness. Oh, no. She's going to freaking radiology. Crap. Okay. Pause. Now I'm going to have to do this. I hate doing this, but... Oh, wait. Where's she going? Oh, Hazel. All right. That's our freaking janitor who's finally doing her thing. All right. I'm taking her out of training. Oh, I didn't know you could take him out of training. Well, I guess I learned something today. All right. Good. Get your butt back to work, lady. Go. Oh, Hazel's supposed to be training, too. All right, we've got this guy who just came in. Whoop, 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 whoop. Examined. He's got dysphagia. So he may have strep. He may have mono. He's probably got strep. Doc's going to figure this out quick. Watch this. This guy's going to knock it out because he's got, this This dude's got skills. Look, boom. Boom. Laryngitis, maybe. Could be diphtheria. He's going to do a laryng laryngoscopy. Laryngitis, boom. There you go. I like it. All right, here we go. Complicated diagnosis. Uh-oh, you can select... Hmm, Stephen Curie, what the hell is your problem? Oh, Jesus Christ. Are we back on... Is this the same dipshit as yesterday? Didn't this, wasn't this guy here yesterday? Oh, we have a hematology lab. Take your ass over there. Go. Go. Yeah, I'm going to send you over to hematology so our hematologists can do their job. And cha ching, we got another happy cut. See, yeah, this is working. All right, what's this guy's story? Five hidden symptoms. So he's got to interview him. He's got itching, he's got crabs. Contact dermatitis. Oh, allergic. He's got an allergy. Itchy eyes, allergic sinusitis. This is probably going to be it. He'll do a skin allergy test and nasal nasal cavity inspection. Uh -huh. 
Oh no, we're not doing that because you gotta have freaking ICD neurology DPT. Eh, no, he's good. Rash on his leg. He's got contact dermatitis. All right, don't touch that stuff again, and don't touch yourself. <laughs> he's got cooties. That's right. <laughs> This is all legit medical stuff, though. It's not like you're going to be a doctor or stay at a Holiday Inn Express. But straight up, um, you will learn stuff about medicine playing this game. Bing, hooray, and huzzah. So, now what's this lady's problem? she got an arm contusion. See, she, she, this is the thing. This is why you've got to have somebody who's good right here. Okay. Now, her receptionist, she'll get better. Her patient care is pretty good. But the thing is, is a good receptionist in interviewing the patient can come up with a diagnosis before they even get in to see the doctor, which speeds up their turnaround time, which means you get paid and they're out of here. All right. I don't like the white out. Uh, do we like the white and our doctors over here, our clinic doctors? Or do we want to change that color up? White's kind of... What's this color? Is that that? that that's not that. It's that. Could do that for doctors. That's kind of a nice color for doctors. Sure, we'll go with that. Cool. Go. All right, so over here, this person's doing doing checks on home Vern. And they're going to get tests back. He's got the chills. They're multiplying. And he's losing control because he's got an irritable cough. There you go. There you go. Here's the thing. Influenza B. Influenza B bitch get out of here Cha ching there's another happy customer all right you go back in and see doc doc's gonna give you some meds kick your ass to the curb pay me bitch boom done so this is your basics of your clinic so i mean i could have the lab and the radiology in this space but you know boom they're rolling people through here like roll tide roll okay hazel's filling her needs her efficiency is going up, which means she'll be better at her job. So if you hire on like an intern and then just roll them through uh, overnight for training, I mean, it costs a little more because you're paying another person to do the job during the day. But like she could be doing radiology training right now. It's late in the day. Unless there's someone in the in the clinic. Where are you going? I told you to go do training. There you go. Come on, Nancy. Fancy Nancy need to get it together. Oh, I need to fix these. Um, oh, you know what? I will fix this right here. Um, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Uh, this and this. Dum, 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 dum. Um, yeah, I need to fix that. Burp, burp. Cool. All right. I didn't do any fancy walls in uh, radiology. They're purple. So let's just do this wall here. We'll do the purple walls for radiology there. And then we turn two times. And we go there, there, and there. And then over here, we don't need to worry about that wall because it'll probably go away. And we're not doing the exterior walls at the, t at the moment because that costs more money. We got something clipping through right there, but that's no big deal. Okay. 
And did I do? Oh, I didn't do walls in here. Let me do. Ooh, howdy. Uh, tile for the. Oh shoot, that's the. Uh, I'm on the wrong side of the wall. It's whatever side's facing you that you do. There and there. So very simple there. And then we'll do the tile walls with the brown. Do do brown. Sweet. All right. Back to work. Uh, back to hospital mode and go. Oh, there we go. We're rolling. Nah, they don't do hospital gowns. Why spend money on that? That's not important. What's this guy's damage? David, you got insomnia. Well, let me hit you over the head. You'll go to sleep. Boom. All right. Happy camper. What's our statistics here? Okay, we got staff, we got patients, treated, treated, today nine, untreated or wrongly diagnosed, zero, lost cases, dead patients. And what can happen is if you don't have facilities, um, you can, um, and see, we don't even have a bank loan, so that's good. Um, and see, so our girl is, wait, nope, that's our radiologist. She's training. Our uh, cleaning girl is training. So what we actually could do here, because we have two... Uh, let me see here. This and oh, I don't have that. Wait, nope. I just don't have the cl the department assigned. So we'll assign us a new overnight person. Oh, here's Robin Packer and her sister from another mother, <laughs> Caitlin. Hmm. <laughs> see what their story is. She's a germaphobe. Okay, that's fine chemist can clean floors much faster that's good she's loyal all right takes yeah but she's already expensive we don't need somebody expensive we need something cheap and stupid this guy's a drunk that's no good so robin packer's looking pretty good she has a long commute that's okay she's just gonna be cleaning up scholar for studies and fast metabolism that's all good she's 172 he's cheaper but i don't like drunks and long drives so she's she's got these two but then this is not as bad as that even though She's younger. She's a little bit more expensive. All right, we'll put her on night shift. The night shift. Actually, uh, yeah, you know what? I think we'll, yeah, we'll just have her on the night shift. So she's going to go home, but then she's going to turn around and come right back. Stephen Curry, the f flight attendant. Okay. Clinic opening hours are over. Good. So Hazel's uh, efficiency level increased. That's great. Now she can go take her ass back to work and go do some cleaning before she leaves here at uh, what 8 p.m. I guess 7 to 8. So she's going to get her. Well, she's going to go to the bathroom, of course, because that's a smart thing to do. Hey, I got <laughs> my shift's almost over. I got to kill some time. I'm going to go take a crap. <laughs> now if you go back and watch on my playlist beverly crusher medical center you'll see i had this massive hospital design which really is very realistic um based on my experience working in a hospital now i still don't know why this is blinking what is the problem
Oh, I think it's because my radiologist, I've got her set for training right now. So I think we're okay. So now open clinic in any specialized department. That's when things start getting complicated. The Beverly Crusher Medical Center was growing out to be just a, a, a super huge hospital facility. And the difference there was if I turn the view this way. So here's your ER. Who is this? You people are just, all right, room workload statistics. Very good. So workload day, low. Workload night, none. Okay. On-call rooms, none. Current staff workload. Okay. So not worry about that. Staff satisfaction, most frequent modifiers, proper lunch, nice environment, belly filled. Okay. Uh, prestige is five star. Staff satisfaction is five star. Patient satisfaction. And day one, examinations two. Today we have one examination. So we lost $224 today. I think I can live with that. This should be our worker coming in, our night shift janitor chick. So we'll bring someone in to clean at night, and then our doctor lady should be coming in to uh, train. Yeah, here she comes. So she's coming in to work on her general medicine. So the BCMC, like the ER clinic was this wing all the way down here. I had like five levels planned, ER wing, you had the main corridor went like this, um, and then you had the whole wing for um, was it labs or radiology? I think I moved labs to a different level. I had a whole wing for radiology. Surgeries on two ERs over here with all the trauma rooms, and then above that, upstairs from that is ICU. And then there was a corridor that went straight into surgery on the second floor. So that, because that makes sense. Surgical patients then just have the least transit. ICU's on the second floor, boom, down the hall to surgery, boom, back to ICU. And then the more general uh, uh, rooms were up on like four and five. I had it all planned out nice and neat. It's in my notebook over here. Yeah, let's kick it in the ass here. So now we got our lady cleaning up, so the place will be nice and clean. This is good. We got our doc training up. She's a plus one in general medicine. This is good. So really, we could probably just have the one uh, janitor. Daily news patient numbers are back to normal. Okay, cool. Just have the one janitor cleaning up at night. What gets goofy is when you open up the ER and a trauma patient comes in and is bleeding everywhere. <laughs> then you got to have, <laughs> then you've got to have janitors on duty who can clean up the blood because that's important. Now, uh, open a clinic is a specialized department. I'm not sure. Hospitalization at emergency. So it steps you through the process here. See, if I take uninsured people, I get a $30,000 grant. Now it's 90% uh, paid back as opposed to 70. So if we open a clinic, uh, not ophthalmology, that's eye clinic, and that's not available. We don't have a dentist or uh, ophthalmology or eye doctor. You have ear, nose, and throat. Ear, nose, and throat's good. All right, hooray. So now, we're going to... Clinic is now open overnight. No. No. No, I don't want people open overnight. Okay, hold on. Let's put her ass back in the training. She's at 16%. So now we're going to put her in... Not, thank you. There you go. That fixed that problem. 
Take your ass back into school. <laughs> Get back to work. All right, now she's going to wrap up work here as we come into 7 o'clock and day shift comes in. All right, there we go. So you can reduce your workforce at night. You can have, you know, look, look, he's playing solitaire on his computer. All right, and our first patient's in for the day. Let's see what their damage is. Paul Wilson, what's your issue? He's got some finger numbness. He's been jerking off too much. Um, probably has golfer's elbow. Doc will, Doc will take a look at him. And then what's this guy's issue? All right, he's got four hidden symptoms. So do the interview. Sleeping problems. All right, you have the other problem. You should go jerk off and feel better. Chronic fatigue syndrome. Give him some stuff to sleep. Bada bing, bada boom, he's out of here. See? A happy camper. Just like that. Uh, oh, I may, oopsie. I goofed up and put a wall section here for some reason. See if I can. All right, it's all coming back to me now. I guess I could put some flooring down in here. That might look spiffy, huh? Let's throw down some flooring. And we like this color wood going that way. Ah, oh, shoot. I knew it was going to do that because I'm looking at it from a different direction than when I put this down. This is, this is going to make it right there. Okay. Uh, so then we need this or here and here and then we can just do some uh, light tinted tiles in the purple for here and then green for here oh wait a minute why do I have purple walls in there moron change the color uh, okay so those are this style needs to be this color green and so we do this and this I like color coordinating the departments if you can't tell and then this this hello and oh shoot that's the wrong freaking wall uh blockhead I need this style that's the tile I don't want the tile wall that that wasted a few bucks it's not too much and boom confetti all right cool there we go there we go nope back the game and roll tide looking lurking Excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Uh, let's see here. Oh, you know what we can do? I know what we can do. We can do. That's an elevator. That is not what we can do. Um. 
Furniture, equipment, decorations. What we need is uh, this is radiology. So we need oh for fuck's sake. Where what am I missing? That's isolation. Diagnostic. C T. And geography. And oh, there's radiology. That's what we need right there. All right, we don't really need red. Blue will do. All right, and then if we twist it this way, then we need labs, which would be the little thing that looks like a flask. Okay, and then we rotate that way. Put that there. Cool. Go. Go. There we go. Now we see everything pretty good here. Cool. All right, so, so clearly we're moving enough patients through quickly enough. No clear diagnosis for Clive. Clive, what is your major malfunction, numb nuts? Nail fungus or athlete's foot? Well, oh, you know what? Mm. Crumbly nail. Crumbly nail is in discoloration. He's got a hidden symptom. Uh, differential diagnosis, microcolic. Problem is we need a microbiology lab for that. So we're going to say he's got nail fungus and send him on his way. Give him some cream. All right, dude, go cream on your foot. Wait, what? Hope you guys are enjoying our wild card Wednesday as I throw in Project Hospital into the mix. Uh, I did post a deal on uh, my YouTube earlier, which I hope you'll like, share, and subscribe the video uh, and subscribe to the channel. All right, Clive, we don't need you on here. Um, let me put a couple of benches in here. There and there, just for looks. Oh, you know what we don't have? We don't have a wheelchair. We need a wheelchair right here. Uh, let me rotate that this way. Yeah, always good to have a wheelchair sitting around somewhere. Cool. Uh, we got a water cooler. I don't want to put that there. That makes that inaccessible. So we can put that on this side. And then we can put a trash bag. Put that there. Put that down there. We can throw a stretcher in here too. That's a good, good thing to have. Sure. And then... Um, Nope, this. Put that there. Um, put a stroke poster there. Where's the infections? That's an always always a good one to have around. And then um, evacuation escape plan. We'll put that right here. Boink. 
and then put one right there. Giggles. Oh, and a fire alarm. That's always important to have, too. Fire hose can be next to it. Cool. All right. So all kinds of fun little shit here and there and everywhere. Oh, we have not put flooring down in this room. Flooring. What flooring do I have in here? Uh, that's just like plain flooring. Is that what I have? I don't think that's what I have, but it might be what I have. Oh, that's... Ugh. Uh, <laughs> laminate flooring. Sure. Let's drop that in there like that. Drop it in here like that. Boom. Cool. Nope. Back to that. Back to that. Cha-ching. All right. Radiology skill. Way to go, Nancy Jennings. Hooray. Now let's see where she's at. Um, oh, good. So we got nobody in uh, nobody in the radiology waiting room, which is important. Because you don't want people waiting. Uh-oh. Performed examination, not possible. Just who is this? Contact dermatitis? Redness of skin, rash on torso. Who the hell screwed that up? Who's this doctor? Oh, it's Leon. Dude, how'd you F that up? Oh, man. Contact dermatitis. Wrong. Give them antivirals. Final diagnosis was shingles. Oh, well, whatever. Write a letter to your congressman. Is that him? Is that the dude? Yeah, it is. All right, we got him squared away. I mean, it hurts your numbers just a, a touch, but not a big deal. You, don't, you just don't want someone to die. Die is bad. So this is your basic clinic. And like I said, you could, you could in theory, put the hematology lab and x-ray in this space, especially if you build the prefab. Most of the, the little prefabs, um, six, six tiles deep. Well, actually, look, if we do radiology, see, eight by six, that just makes it really big right but it's six tiles deep so it could fit in that space i mean in theory you could put like a janitor closet in this space or whatever or make those doctor's offices bigger the the basic doctor's office is six by f oh six by four how's mine six by five i think i just put a little more stuff in there like there's room for someone to go sit with them. And that's one thing about the game that uh, it hasn't developed to, and hopefully they'll do that, is there's no kids. Like you want, um, how was dinner? Q, what'd you make? Um, you want, I want, you know, like a mom and their kid to come in. You know, you want because a nice expansion to the game would be a pediatric clinic and then a OBGYN clinic. You know, women's hospital. There's cancer stuff and, and things. I think there's cancer stuff. Infectious disease. I'll go ahead and I'll let you. I see you. We don't want that. Labs. See, a couple of these things are things I've added on. Otorhinolaryngology. 
Angology. Yeah, Angology. I added, that's a, a download, urolith, urology and nephrology, because that would be me. <laughs> I'm a patient of that. The burn unit, or traumatology, I think that's built into the game. Neurology, cardiology. Internal medicine. I'm not sure what you've got to have for that. Cleaning closets, common room, on-call room. All right, so yeah, cardiography, special procedures unit, lounge. That would be crazy expensive. What would be the simple? We don't want general surgeries, not yet. Uh, Orthopedy, problem is that gets, uh, you wind up with doing surgery there as well. And if you do nurse stations and stuff, so you wind up with an HDU, high dependency units, regular wards, okay, things like that. There's a lot of stuff you got to add in. To, uh, to do the departments like this. So... We don't want pathology. That's dead people. Neurology. HDU. Yes. Yeah, let me uh, let me take a quick gander here for you. Oh wait, that would be Steam, not Discord. And Project Hospital. Twenty four ninety nine. If you do the collection, it's like forty dollars. So just wait till it goes on sale, maybe. Like, well, you just paid a bunch of money for a fancy computer. But the base game is twenty four ninety nine. But you want to get hospital services, traumatology, uh, infectious disease. So you want to get the full kit and caboodle. That's the that's the way to go with it. So. So, yeah. Now, what I what you can do, if you've done something like this and say, you know what, I just want to move these into, you know, where they need to be, you have that option. I think it's this. Move a room a selected area. You can just basically copy it or actually cut it and then paste it where you want to put it. Okay? Depending on how big a facility you want to build, okay, there's options for that. So, um, let's see, what are we, tra we're training our nurse lady at night, and where is our, so there's our two doctors, where is our, where's Nancy, Nancy, that's not Nancy. No, that is Nancy. That's not who we want. Um, sixteen twenty-one. You know what? Go go to school. Hazel. That's who we want. Hazel. Go to school. Things got quiet here late in the day, and that's okay. Open any special open clinic at a specialized department now. You do not have to, I think, you don't have to do the full kit and caboodle. You just have to do the clinic. And you can send them off-site to get stuff done. Uh, 
um, that's kind of how I worked um, the Beverly Crusher Medical Center. Is it was based on my experience um, at Medical City Dallas, although that's that's kind of a, a different design hospital too. But like you want surgery, ICU. Technically, you want the ER trauma area on the same level, but it's better to stack vertically and just have them use a, an elevator. You definitely want surgery and ICU on the same level. You just want a straight shot for patient convenience. And see like these fire doors here, that's, that's a realistic deal. And then I would probably have like another set here for going into the next area. Uh, doctors, I could put the doctors in training, but it's almost the end of the day. So they're out at 8 p.m. So let's just speed this up. We don't have any patients. Where is everybody? Everybody minding their P's and Q's and not getting hurt? That's good. I like it. But we don't make any money that way. Hey, Leon leveled up. All right, let's, Leon, let's leave on. <laughs> Where'd Leon, even though he had a freaking wrong diagnosis, Leon. Ah, see, he's up to a specialist now. He's probably going to cost more money. That's good. So, um, his ratings is 98%. That's good. Diagnostic percentage is 71. So what we could do is probably put him in training for diagnosis for tomorrow. You know what? I'll rotate him to the night shift. We'll wait. We want to get our uh, that's our there's our young intern, okay. So we want to keep working her, she's working on her diagnosis stuff now. We'll get her to like 20 30 percent, do a couple more days, and uh, you know, get her rolling along. Who just left? Wait a minute, what just happened? Is she on the night shift? She is on the night shift. Why is she going home? Maybe there's no cleaning to do? Um, you know what? We can train her to freaking become a manager. You can go home, but I'm going to train you to become a manager. All right, let's um, stay on until morning. Yeah, so she's uh, hang on. What time is it? Two. Uh, yeah, her training's finished. Shoot. I was just waiting for that. Okay. Diagnosis create. Uh, nope. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. Just pause. Come here. Nope. We're going to put you back to work on your diagnosis. And then 
our other girl. Okay, so um Yeah, see we don't really need to build up anything right now. I mean if we brought in uninsured people, we I guess would make more money, but uh, so let's consider that. I really don't want to though. What if we did and that gets complicated. Dang. We're not there yet. So what we could do uh, is fill in, I mean, I've had 10 clinic doctors before. We'll go a couple more days here. She's, she's getting up to speed. That'll be good. And then what we may do is rotate her on day shift and rotate one of our senior docs into training overnight. So, yeah, it's costing us money, you know, overnight, but that's okay. See, we only lost $155. Total, 1127 wages. All right, here we go. And we're open for business. Well, 8 o'clock, yeah, clinic's open. Here comes our first schlub. All right, what do we got here? Your training, your training. Okay, good. So this guy, Richard Freeman. Let's, oh, great. Contact dermatitis. Wait a minute. I thought, he, I thought we said he had shingles. Do a skin allergy test on him. It said he had shingles, so I, uh, whatever. Dude, you're a, you're a freaking roof. All right, what's this guy's damage? Oh, he got an ankle injury. Great, that sucks. Ankle fracture. Oh, he's either got a bruise or a fracture, which means he's probably going to have to go. Uh, yeah, he's going to go to X-ray. So he'll sit there, and he's got to wait on x-ray. The question is, how much time does Nancy here have left in her training? Let's take her out. She's going to train till the next hour? That would actually make sense. Oh, we got, yeah, she's got patience. Oh, gosh, yeah. She busy. Bra is getting zapped. Oh God, we got a bunch of freaking, we got a bunch of problems. All right, he got a contusion. You got a bruise, dude. Rub some ice on it. You'll be all right. She got broken ribs or a contusion. She got a bruise. Rub some icy hot on it. You'll be all right. Damn. Now this guy's in here. You been jerking off too much? Is that your problem? Arm contusion? Yep. Jerking off too much, you hurt yourself. Use your other arm. It'll feel like you got a different girlfriend. Golfer's elbow, tennis elbow, or bursitis? Which is it? Golfer's elbow. Boom. Put a heat pad on it. All right, now. Nancy. Go back to training. I don't think before, at least I didn't think you could take people out of training. Maybe I just didn't realize that you couldn't pull them out. All right, what are you doing, dude? Biochemistry. Um, so these are, we don't need anybody in the lab right now. Dude, go get some training. All right, how many people do we have in here? Oh, docs are busy. We're moving people through here pretty quick. 
I don't know. Is this is this him? Oh, he's got freaking iron deficiency anemia. Give him some meds. He'll be all right. He freaking thinks he's Spider-Man. Oh, shoot. He's in the lab. Where are you going? Oh, he's got to go to the bathroom. All right. He's sitting in the lab for a bit, so now we got to clear our lab tech. Not Nancy. Nancy's undergoing training. Yep, I got that. Nope. Don uh, Donald. Uh, back to work with you, sir. What? Wait. Why did Why did the freaking patient come in here? He's like, "Yo, could you get your ass over here and take care of me?" <laughs> he is not supposed to be able to go into red space, and I think he went into the red space. And now Donald, or where's our guy? Where is he? That's him right there. Back to training. Training finished. Hooray. All right, Hazel. Where are you at? Still one patient waiting. Oh, that sucks. Her efficiency is really going up, though, so that's good. We'll have her work one more session. But that will be tomorrow. Good show. Radiology plus one. Our people are getting more experience. This is good. Now this lady's coming in to do training tonight. Robin Packer. So she's doing manager training. It's not a big deal. But what she'll do is she'll do eight hours of training, which will take her to... What, I guess uh, about 4 a.m., 5 a.m., and then she'll have a couple hours to go around and clean. Her efficiency is pretty good. Why are these things alerting? Doc is still, okay, no. Doc's training. All right, so let's run this along here for a second. Oh, nope, 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 nope. I'm going to keep it running along. Keep moving, keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on moving with Twix. There's the end of the day. Okay, I got to run and dehydrate, but instead of putting my thing up on the screen, I'm going to let it keep running. So I'll be right back.
Finished. All right, so we need to rotate her back in the train. So now our diagnosis is up. Nope, nope, it's not. All right, she's at six, so now we're going to go back to general medicine. We're getting her there. All right, cool. Roll tide. And I, while y'all watch, I'm going to do a little bit of exercise here because uh, it's sitting too long. And, Blood flow going here. I'm gonna think about some dinner here. It's almost eight o'clock. Not super hungry, but I'm gonna have a spinach salad. Cool. Training and finished. Okay, good. She ain't gonna get a whole lot of work done, but. Especially if she's going to sit there drinking water and going to the bathroom. Nope, that's going to kill the rest of her day. She did a little cleaning. And now the day shift chick. All right. Can get in here. Clinics open. Our lab guys in training. And she's heading into training too. All right. kind of funny if you watch and listen to the doctor and them talk. Can you guys hear that? Can you hear the doctor going, eh, 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 eh? Yeah. All right, good, Nancy. Nice job. So I like I like when they go when she goes when they go da 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 da. All right, happy happy camper. Smell you later. Nobody waiting. So I guess if we go. We get a $30,000 government grant out of this. Oh, here we go. Da, 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 da. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> that cracks me up. <laughs> All right, there's the dun dun dun. All right, let's kick in the ass here. So, yeah. Now, we're going to get more patients here because we're taking uninsured now. Ho, 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 ho.
Training finished. Hooray. Hazel, you can go clean now. And yeah, Donald can get busy. All right, great. So here's fulfilling needs. I don't know why she came down here, though. So that's something that American tri what the hell Chagas disease serious infectious disease caused by the parasite Trypanosomo cruzi lead to serious heart and digestive compli complications. You take antiparasitic drugs for it. That's interesting. I Rocky Mountain Spy Fever and get that from ticks. I'm guessing she's got iron deficiency anemia. Well, it's saying it's one of these two. Maybe she's got Rocky Mountain Spy Fever, but I'm thinking still it's going to be anemia. Going to the doctor. Examined. They did this. PCR sampling. Those are both at the hematology lab. PCR testing. Oh, no. Come back tomorrow. Um, we could. No. Uh oh, this guy's not happy. Clive, leg contusion. What's the problem? How did he not get treated? Maybe I need another doc. They're doing all their charting stuff here at the end of the day. Okay, you know what? I think we can hire another doc. We got we got Gaish and we're gonna have extra people coming in. So let me go in and build another office here with our prefabs. And Rotate, rotate, rotate. Oh. There we go. Sweet. So now, make sure we got the right department. There, it's good. And then, let's see if we can hire us a new doctor. So Matt Sanders is still out there. He's an intern, though. And then Clive is an FNG intern. Wait, isn't Clive the freaking patient that's been coming in with, like, I don't know, something? <laughs> Who else we got? Hey, here's a two-star. That's great. Oh, look. Her, her numbers are actually lower than what's her name. Oh, she's good. Practical diagnosis. She's resistant. She just likes to eat. She's fairly cheap, too. So to bolster our daytime we may put her through a couple of days of training you know what we're gonna put her on the night shift get her a little bit of training in no it's not see she's here already all right so go do diagnosis then we'll then we'll be cooking we'll be able to rotate well shoot she went home and she's gonna be coming right back doofus so Treat 15 patients per day. That's our next milestone. With the extra doc, we'll be able to. The only problem is we had three people who were untreated. So that's why we're bringing in an extra doc. This is what happened because we brought in the un uh, uninsured patients. Uh, 
And the higher skills will help the docs treat faster, you know, because they'll be more effective. Right? General medicine plus one, diagnosis plus one. Study, study, study. Man. Uh, well, I, it's not going to save me any money now, but it would really be good if I could. Here's the thing, though. I like having those close to ER. All right. What? Eh, I'm not going not gonna to do that right now. I think we're going to. Get through this night shift here. I might have some dinner. I've been freaking live streaming for like, what, almost four hours now? This game's just freaking cool, though. Well, I mean, once you get it figured out, it's got some idiosyncrasies. But state election coming, new public health policy causes 20% higher insurance payments. Oh, cha-ching. <laughs> won't make a political statement like you know, a Democrat was elected to office, but yeah. That benefits our hospital. Of course, that's the whole deal. You know, hospitals are huge corporations now, and guess what they do? Donate millions of dollars to politicians' campaigns. Hmm. So why wouldn't you pass laws that raise insurance premiums? Because it's all about the insurance companies, who also donate to the, you know, campaigns. All right, Lauren Griffin, now. It's going to say it's open tonight. Nope, we're not. 24 and 16. I want to get her general medicine over 30 and diagnose. If we can get her general medicine to 30 and diagnosis to 20, I think she'd be okay. Previously, da, 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 da. I mean, she's got, she's a, extra talent for diagnosis. You know? Why does she have a hidden perk? Uh, why does she have a hidden perk? Uh, huh. Okay, well, whatever. Oh, and that's two days worth of higher insurance Paul, uh, payments. Nice. So let's see how this works. Yeah, see, 110, 120%. We need a specialized department, though. So... Are you guys enjoying this show? Are you enjoying this game? Let me know in the chat. I appreciate it. Appreciate you guys being here. I think it's fascinating because you learn you you learn legit stuff from it. All right, let's see where we're at here. Yeah, I think if we can get them to 30% general med and... See, she's got some acute med experience too. And diagnosis over 20%, then we'll turn them loose on patients. That's kind of where I feel like we should be. All right, so Grace... Now, Grace is on the night shift. So... We are close. She can get, well, she's not going to get another hour because she's going to take off in like 20 minutes. Okay, there we are at 7 a.m. And so day shift's starting to come in now. And that, I think. Yeah, there are night shifters are heading home. What just happened? Oh, clinic open. All right. Cool beans. I think that's a good spot for us to uh, call a call a hold to this episode. A Project Hospital, now available on Steam from Oxymoron Games. It's freaking fun. It's, uh, you know, you, you could see from me trying to remember how to do stuff. I remembered stuff as it, as it came along. It's not rocket science. There are tutorials to take you through stuff and whatever. All right. But you get to build a hospital. Then you got to manage the hospital. And then you get to play doctor too. So lots of fun stuff. And uh, you know what? I may well uh, eat some dinner and come back and do a little bit more. So 
Guys, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Turn on that bell icon so you know when we go live or upload a video. And uh, join us on Discord. Link in the description below. Also, your donations to help support the channel are greatly appreciated at paypal.me slash games. It's paypal.me. Well, I, excuse me. There's a link in the description below. It's changed. So I forget what it is now. But uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. Something different. But uh, a lot of fun. There's a little thinking to it. And um, I think we're, although I've been offered a key to do a new game. What's it called? Um, so I got to load this up and check it. Bell right. Pre-release game key. So uh, I may be checking out Bell right. I think that's some kind of, um, I don't know, catastrophic, you know, end of days, uh, city builder, settlement builder kind of deal. But uh, for now, we're enjoying uh, some Project Hospital. So uh, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, you know what? Maybe give me half hour or so. And I may well be back here about 8.30 Central Time. It's just shy of 8 o'clock. So whatever that math's to in your area, give me about 35 minutes or so. And maybe we'll do another uh, hour or so because it's just fun. I, I got to start figuring out what we're going to do for our next our add-on um, to, to our hospital. If we do an ER department, the problem is we don't have surgery. You know, there's that, 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 that all this stuff involved. Um. But uh, either that or we may do orthopedy and uh, go from there. So, but uh, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate everyone chit-chatting and everything. Like, share, and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I hope you have a great day, night, evening, morning, wherever you are on planet Earth or beyond. I'm A-Train. It's over. And I'm out.